chicka wow wow we fucking we, we fucking fuck. um welcome back what's up guys how are you to the number one shit talking podcast in the world literally it's ranked <laughs> number one best shit talking podcast yeah google it there's nothing up there because we're number one I may have misread it. It might be number one shit podcast. <laughs> Shittest podcast. <laughs> yeah. No. Even that's cool though. That's like that's like when you get like the very the you know worst of the worst movies. Well, it's like I like it's it's that shit. It's hard to be that shit. Yeah. True. Yeah. Like um like I posted the other day. It's the small wins. <laughs> so that's a small win. Yeah. That is a small win. Um. <clears throat> should we address I mean, the elephant in the room real quick? Yeah. Well, we're going to address the elephant in the room. So. Um, a few weeks back now when you're watching this, because yeah. again, about three weeks ago. Yep. Um, again, just to preface, fuck, you love that word. We're, yeah, we are a few episodes ahead, uh, just planning for the start of next year as yeah, I'm having should, a kid. After February, it should yeah. even out. I'm having a kid. He's going away. I'm getting just, away from the kids. Yes, exactly. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so in last week's, no. In the episode you just watched, no, that still doesn't work. That's not how time works. <laughs> no. Food. Okay. The episode a few weeks ago, I put up a TikTok saying, if Connor gets a certain amount of likes, he has to shave his head. Yeah. He agreed to it and he said 150 likes, which I thought was low. He lowballed himself. Yeah. We fucking smashed it. At the time of recording, it's at about 780, 790. I don't even know what they're liking it anymore. So... So he, it's already past it. Like, yeah. They know it's past it. But that, that's why I was saying to you, like, if you went big, I felt like it was going big. Like, we've already gained, like, um, again, it doesn't translate, but we've already gained, like, 20 followers just from that video. Cool. Fuck yeah, that's good. Well, that's good for us, I guess. Yeah. So, um, we're getting a few more views on the ticky, yeah. on the ticky dicky tocky. Ticky ticky tocky. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so the elephant in the room, it surpassed the likes. And why am I wearing a fucking hat? Why Connor doesn't wear hats? Yeah, why is Connor wearing? A, I'm not a fucking <laughs> shitty a beer. Both more. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> every time. Fuck. <laughs> um, but I am, in fact, bald. <laughs> yes. Stylishly bald. I'm a. I'm mature. <laughs> mature. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> so um, yeah. So it's fucking. Like he's on like Donkey Kong. Yeah, you probably all saw already from the socials because it was like yeah, three weeks ago. Yeah, if you've been following the socials, I mean... But you may not have seen it like this. Yes, no. But we thought, fuck it. He's in the middle of cutting. Why don't we just record the podcast while... Yeah. It's still fucking... Turns out cutting your hair with a pube trimmer takes a long time. <laughs> yeah. A really fucking long time. Like an hour or more. <laughs> um, we're joined again by producer Clint. Yeah, and um, the little mutt Gary yeah. Gaz is out there. He misses the hair, but um, he'll get used to it. I'm gonna make it into a nice little bed for him to lay on. Yes, like a nest, like a dog bed. Yeah, we we could have donated the hair, but we thought fuck charity, and um, yeah, and then I realized you can sell it too. But I maybe I shouldn't have cut it random chunks of it off before I yeah, thought about that. Fucking, but you know, next time, next time when I grow my hair back in 15 <laughs> years or so. Yeah, I mean, last time I saw Connor with short hair, it wasn't that short on top, but it was in grade 10 when I met met Connor. So, And yeah. we've spoken about that on the podcast bro, every week. It's fucking near an answer. Um, yeah, we, <laughs> but we spoke about that on the podcast. Again, if you if you haven't heard that story, it means you're watching this one before you watch that one, which That's is... weird, man. It's also immature who starts at like a random arbitrary episode like, oh this is one episode eight let's just go for that yeah well who starts game of thrones on like the last season but the f- first episode it's like so oh, i'll just go from here and see if i like it's it weird. also um this episode is coming out um the week of the new year so next week's episode will be 2023 yeah how fucking Very cool. cool is that is that season two are we in the future we are. We're well. We're in the past. They're in the present. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we'll talk about things, and then like three weeks later, what have you be? Yeah, Japan beat Spain last night. 
the Hitch League? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, true. And yeah. Germany and Belgium are out of the World Cup. Yeah, I saw that. That's crazy, man. And then, like, everyone's... We're gonna, I was going to bring up Australia, but how good are we? And then by the time this comes out, we'd have lost every match. <laughs> what do you mean, we? Oh, yeah, true. I can't, I can't take credit for that. <laughs> but, no, yeah, legit, everyone's like... The World Cup ended three weeks ago. Yeah, like, why are these guys still talking about the World Cup? Like, it's new. It's I'm, 2023. I'm putting out my tips for the week, and it's like, games have already happened. They're like, <laughs> they're like, it's 2023. Why is he talking about the f- 2022 FIFA World Cup? <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if we spoke about on the podcast. I think we did last week about um, logos. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were, we, we were going to get... Was it last week or the week before? It was uh, last week. Yeah, it's what, drop logos. you should know because you've watched the episode. Yeah, it's a quiz for you, not us. We know what's going on. We totally yeah. know what's happening. No, no, we don't. Look but at yeah, this. this is the man who knows what's going on. So most of the time. beforehand, we um, or before this podcast, we were like, "Fuck it, let's just draw up a logo," because we know that we're both shit at drawing. Yeah, it'd be a bit fair. Um. And, like, let's try and do something. Because, like, what we have as our picture, it's not like that's... That's, like, a sort of... Like, a it's placeholder. A placeholder yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, should we just show each other? Yeah, let's go. Um, you want to go... We'll just go one for camera each time, I guess. Or oh, I, I was thinking I'll t- we'll take a photo of it. Ah, and that's I'll put better. It on. That's a smart idea. Yeah. All right. See, so, mine, mine's shit. I already know mine's shit. That's mine. What the fuck is that? Oh, let me explain it to you. So, for the people at home as well, I'll explain it. Is that that plant? The, um... What's it called? Paradise? That was gonna... That's That was gonna be a palm tree. But it's really hard to draw with a marker. That's our name. I was thinking, like, do the Miami Vice, like, you know, font. Yeah. Yep. That cool, like, Vice City look. Yeah. Because I think that suits us, that neon purple yeah. vibe. That's supposed to be a glass of vodka. And that's gonna be the palm tree over the top of it. Okay. In the shade of it. And that'd be cool for a little shirt logo or something, I think. See... Okay, see, I could see that being on a, like, that being on a shirt in, like, say, white. Yeah. But I'd probably go without the palm tree. Like, I get the palm tree, but, like, I like the minimalistic, like... Yeah, shirt. like, just like a little logo. Like yeah. that, but, like, with the little glass underneath would yeah. be pretty That's cool. That's what I thought would be cool. Like, it would work good. Well, I was thinking something like this. Oh, I like that. See, like, I'm not, I'm not really good at anything, like, yeah. ever. That looks but, metal. But yeah, I was thinking something like that. And then like Potty on the Rocks here. And we could even implement a glass there, you know. Um, yeah, I like that. Yeah. I, I'd Sucks be for the listeners, right? I'd now. be willing to put money into well no, because it will be up on the screen. No people are on their phone on their oh, headphones. Listening. <laughs> so you shouldn't linger too much on this. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, we won't linger too much, but yeah. I'd be willing to put money into like getting a logo well yeah well I was thinking because um, I got a mate that does it and he was saying it wouldn't be too much but I feel like we need to have a good idea set before we just ask him yeah. to do it for us yeah. otherwise we'll get some well if we, we really get want. on the same page yeah. then I feel like it's good yeah like, well it's next good. time I talk to him I can fucking flesh it out in person and try and haggle with him oh your dad's just done one see I like that okay see the thing is with it that's I like that idea but Connor pointed out last week, potty on the rocks is, it's a play on words, body on the rocks. So you like the, the, the beer, the, the beer is a bit of a, like, like vodka on, on rocks. That's why it's body on the rocks. Like see Marla, I chucked a, like, a little glass of ice in it. We'll take a photo of Clint's and have it up on screen oh, yeah, as you'll, well. You'll see it, you'll see it. Yeah. Um, okay, well let's, we'll just move on from that. Yeah, let's move on from that. Um, you thirsty? Yeah, I'm thirsty. Yeah, we usually just like five minutes in. Like I don't know yeah. why we've taken so long to. Get okay, our well, my um choice of drink this week is, and we have wanted to try this for a couple of weeks now. Yeah, it's been coming up. Um, better beer. Better beer. You've probably heard of it. Um, probably it, tried it. It's pretty well known. The day of recording this, uh, it is exactly a year old. Yeah, don't the they brand. have tomorrow they're doing a deal yeah. with like cheap boxes? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, day. so tomorrow is a year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 1.2 standard drink, zero carbs, zero sugar, 87%, 87, 87% calories. <laughs> 87 calories. So, I'm going to take away from that that it's almost like a pure blonde. Yeah, I'd say it is. It feels like that. It's a real low-carb beer. Real also, low carb. they didn't have the bottles. 
I haven't tried that. I didn't know dead bottles. Well, they do bottles. They actually they had the bottles. They weren't cold. Okay. Now, the I personally believe there's a hierarchy when it comes to any sort of piss. It is tin cans down the bottom. Yeah. Bottles. Frost dogs, mate. Bottles above that, and then straight off out of the tap. Yeah. Is god tier. Yeah, tap beer is its best. Actually, well, not even beer, though. You're thinking of Canadian Club. You're drinking oh, out yeah. of a can. That, that is the best pre-mix. You're drinking out of yeah. a bottle. That's nice. You're drinking out of the tap. What's it post-mix? It's post-mix, isn't it? post so Yeah. Pre-mix? No, pre-mix is the bottles. Post-mix is like, I guess cause it's made with just dead ginger ale, like it's on like syrupy. I oh, guess. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. All right, well, should we give it a crack in the sip? Definitely a lager smell. All right, let's cheers it. Cheers to that. Let's cheers. Go. Wow, tastes like nothing. Hmm, tastes like <laughs> shit. Good job on inspired. Uh, is it the inspired unemployed? Yeah. Yeah. Good job, guys. You made a fucking shit beer. Glass of water with a bit of alcohol in it. That's worse than a four X. At least, at least it's full strength though. Is it? One point two standards. Yeah, tr- that's true. It's better than a four X, I'd say. But yeah, that's real easy to drink. It tastes like nothing. No, nah, okay, so it's not complete shit, but it's yeah, it's it doesn't taste good. It tastes like nothing. Pure blonde's way better than this. For the go of it, I'd rather just drink that fucking lemonade seltzer we got. Yeah, what same? The fuck? It tastes the same, but I get way more fucking buzz off it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's that's so disappointing. Better I- beer, better than what? Hollandia. <laughs> <laughs> but I- We're trying Hollandia in a few weeks. <laughs> I had pretty high hopes for this. I'm not gonna lie. I, I yeah, legitimately. I'm a beer drinker and I'm disappointed. Cause like, so I've spoken about it a few times the Alpha Bloke Boys. Yeah. They, they, like sponsored by Better Beer, but that I think they drank it first and they're like, oh, this is a nice beer, and then they want to get sponsored. And then Better Beer starts. Spon- yeah, but like, all right, if if they ever watch this thing. I might take it back. It's amazing, most amazing beer ever. No, 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 <laughs> no. Fuck them, because I'm. Oh, that's the thing. I don't know about you, but I'm never going to promote something that I don't believe in. Yeah, dude, I'm not a seller. I just shave my hair. Like if so, if fucking cruisers come up and we're like, oh. I want to sponsor you, bro. I'm like, ding, bro, ding, we get sponsored ding, by Smirnoff. Ding, I would fuck with that so hard, bro. Imagine they just give a. Bottles of vodka. You know the Magnum bottles of Cruisers that they were selling yeah, for yeah, a bit? Yeah, the fucking Tallies. Bro, imagine... Bro, that could be a Cruises. good one. That could, that could be a good one on the fucking um, podcast. Cruisers, shout out. Well, Smirnoff. Smirnoff. Are they Smirnoff? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's Cruisers at the sub-brand thing. Um, yeah, no. Nah, um, Do you want to scale these in? No, we, we have to. Yeah, it's part of the game. All right, I'll pass your glass. Or do you have one? Yeah. <sighs> Sweet as let's Bro, bear with that's us. shit. That's... that's Oh, that's really disappointing. Oh, Have should we? That one, should, should we rate it first? Yeah, um, I'm going to say no holes barred, solid six. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go a five, five. It's boring, eh? Five point six. Yeah, it is pretty nothing. It's like it's it's not. It doesn't taste like a beer. It's not no. refreshing. It's like drinking a glass of water. But at least the only thing is, like, at least it's low carb and no sugar. If it was like full carbs, I was getting mm. fat from it, and it has like nothing, I'd be like, what the fuck's the point in this? It actually tastes like fucking no carbs and no sugar and no alcohol. Yeah, at least pure blonde has a taste to it, eh? Oh, shit. This is the no alcohol one. <laughs> Bro, that, imagine what that tastes like. It is just water. Yeah. Well, hmm. See, now I'm interested in trying their um, ginger beer one. At least it might have a bit of flavor to it. Yeah, like, hmm. Fuck, this is trash. At Yuck. the at the end of the day, it's not terrible. Like it's not like, yeah. Like if I, I wouldn't buy it again. But if I got no. given it for free, I'd drink it. And they're not cheap either. Nah, twenty one dollars for a. Six, oh, actually, that's not too bad. That's pretty mid price. Is it? Is it? I okay. feel like they're trying to steal the market on like Coronas. Like you know the Australian thing where it's like I don't drink beer, mm. so I don't drink alcohol. I'll just bring a box of Coronas to a party because that's yeah. like the thing to do. Yeah, well we've spoken about this yeah, before yeah. as Sorry, well. Sorry, well, I feel like that's the market they're trying to corner. Mm. It's like they're funny look lads that people are like, oh yeah, better beer is cool. I'll just get those and bring them to a party. I don't really drink beer. Well, uh, another thing too, I was gonna talk about. I, I was thinking about on the drive here. I was like, 
I've I've tried to listen to their podcast a few times, right? And I can't, I can't sit here and lie and be like, oh, they've never made me laugh. But like, just the way that they talk and stuff, like I'm like, oh, are you two, like I don't, I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the podcast. I think they're they're um their skits are fucking their skits hilarious. are hilarious. They're great. Like they're but really funny. They're, boys. Them talking on a podcast, and a lot of people might think the same thing about us. And yeah. that's all, all our twenty fans. Yeah, but the thing is, like. I just, I don't know. I listen to them talk and I'm like, bro, like this ain't funny. Yeah. You know, they're talking about like they're embarrassed and stuff. And it's like, bro, shut up. Yeah. They, and they work, they work well, like, um, as a skit, but like just off the cuff, I don't really like it. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's get to scale on this. All right. Let's nick these fucking froth dogs. Maybe the bottles will be better. They could be better. Yeah. Probably not. I'm not holding hope. Yeah, probably not. Um, that won't be... I'm not going to try it I'm again. I'm not going to waste money on them. No. I am, you want to send them to us, guys? I, I will try the ginger beer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um. Yeah. Fucking... Let's go. Just, I'm not a fan. I'm going to... I need to put my mic down to pour my drink. Well, as well. Um, I'll wait. So, I have, they have something to, you know, something to talk to. Maybe the lovelies at home. Like, yeah. Okay. So, um, first of all, we've got Jackson uh, pouring his drink. It's going in. He's got a good angle on it. Good slide. Good slide. Not a lot of froth so far. The head is looking crisp. And so is he of his penis. His pants are undone right now. Very beautiful. And oh, look at that. Look at that. Good head. Good head. Um, oh, that's so... That's, oh, it looks like piss. It actually does. It, it's look, it's like the color of V. It's very, very light for a, for a beer. It's very light for a beer. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll do mine now. Give me a commentary. Yeah. Thanks, okay. son. And Connor puts down the mic. He picks up the glass. He pours the beer. He's got a nice little angle here. He, I like the approach, the game plan he's gone with here. He's pouring. There's not much of a head at all. And the beer goes all right, too. <laughs> okay, how much... You, how much <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you, how do you think it's shit, then? <laughs> you drank fucking all of it. I've just shaved my head, bro. I need to get fucking buzzed, man. I'm, I'm fine. Oh, I wonder who's right going to win this race. <laughs> Yeah, if you could uh, tell the lovies at home how much is... Really, um, it's like half of a, half yeah, a glass. Yeah, what the fuck? Dude? I didn't realize I drank that much. It's just going down like water because it is fucking water. All right, well, uh, cheers to that. Yeah, okay. Oh, now you I'm like... Me, you want to give me a head start? Or? Now I'm like... Now I'm like... Um, we shouldn't I, don't, I don't even want to scull it because it's like... <laughs> I've already half I'm not even mine. racing you. Aren't right. you? Try, bro. You might win. Should I go down to where you're at? Yeah, that'd be fair. I just scull the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Jackson's sculling now. You have a little bit more than that, I guess. No, nah, it's alright, I'll go with that. That way if you lose you can feel better about yourself? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm uh, not a I'm not a beer drinker. Remember what I told you? I was sculling yeah, beer's the, so easy beer's scu- e- easy to scull, I reckon. It mm, not when you're not a not when you hate the taste of True, beer. that's fair. Yeah. But then again this tastes like water because better beer is not better. Trash. Better than what? Like you said. Hollandia, that's about it. Better beer, like... It's better than being molested, I guess. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Bright mm. side. Yeah. yeah. All right, um, well, let's... Cheers. cheers <sighs> yeah. Oh, that's shit. You can gulp that. It's quite shit. Um, that's the... Sh- that is... That's shit. That is so shit. The thing is, though, like, trying to explain it at home, it's not, it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes like nothing. It's boring. It's like eating, it's like you're really hungry and you go on the carpet and you're like, what do I have? And you just have white bread. Yeah. Like, you'll still eat it and go, oh, it's filling me up. It's doing its job. But fuck, does it taste like nothing? That's, I'm like. It's the white bread of alcohol. I had an expectation of, like, Mm. Do you like pure blondes though, eh? Yeah, I don't mind a pure blonde. Yeah, that's what I expect it to be like. like yeah. That kind of like a nice bit of flavour to it. Easy to drink, but tasty. Well, well I expected it on my spectrum to be like a high six. Yeah. To, what did you, you rank it as? Mid seven. I think I said a five eight. Yeah, mine was a set flat six. Yeah. I just, it would have been a flat five if it wasn't low carb. Yeah, like if it was like a full. At least that way I'm not wasting carbs on this piece of shit. Yeah, that's that's really disappointing because we have a six pack. We should we gotta make this into a TikTok and then just tag the inspired unemployed in it just to attack the, the yeah. Beer. 
Yeah, and then we're going to get fucking flamed. But yeah. fuck you guys. Fuck it. Look we're, at this haircut. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm not getting down on my I'm knees. Mental breakdown. <laughs> I'm not getting down on my knees for you two. I'm oh, not. Dude, actually, the Falcon's pretty sexy. No, but I, I, ain't, I ain't one of those fucking suck ass people that are going to be like, your product is so good. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, okay, I myself is, I'm not a beer drinker, but Connor over here is yeah, a beer drinker. Yeah, I do drinker. enjoy beer and I enjoy that beer. Yeah, I don't enjoy that beer. If it was like ten dollars six packs, like Smithies or eleven dollars six packs, Smithies, yeah. I would fuck with it. Yeah, I would. I'd be like, it's cheap, it's low carb, yeah. why not? But, it, but if it's it, not, it's it, fucking full price. Let's just say this is the same price as a pure blonde. Yeah, like I'm six pack. A pure blonde every time. You're buying a pure blonde every time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm buying a four X over that. <laughs> yeah, you you'd rather have less alcohol. Yes, just to taste better. Yes, four X dry is not too bad, I reckon. No, is that that's more of a pale ale? No, no, that's like a full um, just lager. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. But it's like full strength. Okay. It's pretty much a full strength four X. It tastes like a Great Northern, mm. but a little bit different. It is still better than the fucking. Um, what do we have? Oh, the, the fucking! Oh, that was so bad. Two yeah. episodes ago, Fireball. The fireball. That was my choice. The Fireball, fucking apple. That was the biggest. Oh. That may be one of the worst, most expensive drinks we've ever had. Yeah, that that was fucking cruel. Um. Should we go into a hot take? Yeah, you want me to start one off? I'll start it off. Oh, yeah, you go. <sighs> Ooh. Crypto is a scam. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. I've looked into it a little bit, and I put a little bit of money into it, and then got out when it was still, like, decent. Yep. But it really feels like if someone like Elon Musk can just go, he, he, Dogecoin, and then all, all of a sudden you're a millionaire because of it, yeah. that's probably pretty scammy. It, yep. Yep. I still don't understand why it's valuable besides people buying it. Yeah. It it is a hard concept to wrap your head around. Like, I mean, have you heard the recent shit about the dude? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um, so she was not she, 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 Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, um, Flint was telling me about the other day about his, um, death. Yeah. It was a pretty. And it's just gone, like, missing. Yeah. Oh, no, no, not him. Oh, what? There's a. So. Uh, I don't know the full ex- full story, so it's hard to explain. But I'm pretty sure he borrowed money from all these investors and people like funding. Yeah, yeah. And people bought into this coin or whatever. Oh wait, I think my one of my workmates bought into this. Yeah, and then um, he's just disappeared with all the money. Yeah, no, we were say so, I'm uh, pretty sure what's his name. I don't know. That's okay. what I'm saying. So it's hard there's to... there's a guy that's... Cause one of my workmates a while back, probably like six months ago, was talking about putting like a, th- like a few grand into it. And he was like, oh, my, my dad's friend put in like five grand. I put in like 10 grand. And I was like, yeah, but when does... He's like, oh, it's going to be minted next week. And we're going to be fucking like rich as fuck when it mints. And I was like, bro, you're going to get scammed. And everyone else at work was like, yeah, dude, you're going to get scammed like fuck. Like, that's so fucking dodgy. I was like, did you send the money just to him? He's like, yeah, we sent it to this like bank account to like a... Um, oh no and I was like yo so you literally just gave him the money you didn't buy anything he's like yeah but we got like you know we got like receipts for it and stuff it's like for a crypto coin that, that cost that sort of cost nothing yeah oh, like dude. you're literally buying it and I couldn't I was trying to explain to him you're buying it at the price that he's created for this and as soon as it goes there it's just gonna drop like it's not gonna matter like you've just given them all this money for nothing fuck dude but I feel like getting scammed is your own fault with stuff like that yeah. Like, if you're willing to put your money into something that someone else, like, cons you into, you if you're that lenient with your money, if you could afford to invest that much money into it, you can afford to lose that much money. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking... Yeah, that's... I... It's, it's just... For me, it's hard to wrap my head around because it... Like, you know, the whole NFT thing, it's like, but what's the point? Yeah, bro, just screenshot them. Well, no, nah, like I get, I get like that the meme stuff about yeah. that, but like, so it's the same as like buying real art. Yeah, but it's like, who cares? Well, it's the same as like, like the value you put on it is just what other people think it's worth. It's the same with regular art. Mm. So you could like draw a painting that you, in your mind you think it's shit, but some art dealer can go, oh my god, that's the most amazing painting. Yeah, I'll, and I'll, I'll, people can love it and go, this looks like it's just you, you shitting mm. on a canvas. And they go, that's amazing. I love this. Dude, I reckon if you put dye in your shit and just like let it splatter on a canvas, bro. Just get some dye. You have really bad diarrhea and just like just go around. And drink blue dye or something and just shit, bro. Shit on the canvas. Let's do that and sell it to one of you guys. 
Yeah, we'll we'll put we'll do it for the charity. We'll do like a bidding war. So we'll do a charity podcast where I sh- sell my nits here, and then you you sell your um dyed shit. Connor, Connor had knit has nits. Yeah, that's why I shaved my head. Real story, boys. Real nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't need more. There's no, there's nowhere to hide. I still can't get over how shit that beer is, bro. And it's we have maybe depressed. We eh? have two more each. Should we pump another one just for a sippy? I was about to say, don't, I don't want to scull it. Yeah, but yeah, we got them right here. Fucking. It might be nice sibarins. just to fucking have some wet our whistles, but I'd rather just water at this point, eh? That's what we're drinking. Mm. Honestly, it's uninspired. No, inspired unemployed. Inspired unemployed, yeah. yeah. Guys, just get on it, man. Fuck. You guys, they market it so hard as well. I mean, they must know it's shit. I mean, your beer's so shit, you're probably going to be unemployed. <laughs> Like, seriously. No, nah, they're doing pretty well. They, like, host the... No, nah, they... They host festivals and shit now. Yeah. No, nah, they Those boys are... No, nah, you're doing good things in your fucking life, your career, but... Yeah, I guess this this beer just isn't for us. I feel like um, a lot of... A lot of celebrities have bad choices with marketing and stuff. What's a... What's a... um? What can we compare this to so our listeners can... It's white bread. No, but like in terms of another beer. It's t- it doesn't taste like any beer I've tasted. If someone gave me a sip of this, I wouldn't say it's beer. I'd be like, is this non alcoholic or think of a four X but a Why bit less not taste. Because four X tastes pretty watered 4X down. Four X has a distinct taste to it though. Mm. This is no taste. It's literally just like it tastes like froth. Mm, and that's yeah, it. it's like when we scaled it, it was like sculling frothy water. It's like if you like had half four X and then filled the rest of the cup with water. I'm so disappointed, dude. It's really easy to drink, though. I'll give it that. Speaking of disappointed, um, Watermoo. Oh. All oh, right. Okay, but before you get into that, so the reason why I bring Watermoo up is recently I've, um, I don't know what it is. Like, like I've always been a fan of, like, UFC, boxing. I used to do boxing as a kid. I used to love it. But, um, and I got, like, kicked out of, the PCYC. Or, <laughs> yeah. Because um, me, Cody, and Cooper went there and Cody tried to do the 619 on the road. I was about to say, I was going to say, like, I don't really, like, I would let you finish, but I was about to say, this is totally going to involve some wrestling moves. Yeah. Like, you cannot put these boys around anything so, that's not going to involve wrestling. Co- Cody's legitimately doing the 619 on the ropes <laughs> of this um, boxing ring. And, like, the dude is, like, yelling at us to get out. Like, you're We're, like, fucking life. eight. You're banned for life. Yeah, banned for life. Seriously. But yeah, I love doing boxing. I used to do a little bit of boxing at my gym just for some cardio. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And my gym at the moment doesn't have any fucking boxing. And I'm like... Well, you had box this morning, didn't you? Huh? You nearly did some boxing this morning, right? Oh, pretty much, yeah. (laughs) I'll get into that. (laughs) We will get into that. Fucking hell. (laughs) I was going to save that for the podcast, but I was so furious. Anyway, um... Yeah, I was looking into boxing, like, boxing classes, and then I thought about our boy Watermoo, like, and he, he done a boxing thing. He's second one now. He's, it's his yeah. second, uh, what's it called, like, be a pro, or be a... Uh, it's like, become a fighter or something. Yeah, yeah be a fighter. Like create a fighter, or... It's like ten, it's like a ten-week challenge, you do boxing classes. It's I hosted th- by Infliction, the guys yeah. do the, um, the local MMA yeah. um, gym, I guess, or the MMA um, promoter. Yeah. Um, And I was like... I was like, you know what, I would, I would do that. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be bad. Eh? I wonder how much it like, costs. Well, and that's where I'm getting into oh, okay. here. Sorry. So, I'm, I looked into it, and I was like, I might actually do this. Like, it's, it's such a good thing for cardio. Like, I, I reckon I'd lose so much weight from it because it's, it's all about discipline too. Like, yeah, and, and also sticking. you know you got a deadline as well. Like, yeah, you got to fight someone in ten weeks. Yeah, you have to fight. Yeah, and like. You pull out, bro. You're the biggest pussy. Literally. You are the biggest pussy. Like your family's already bought tickets, bro. So like, but like people have people who step in there. Like you got to give them the respect for one. Yeah, passion fruit pickups. Yeah, passion fruit pickups. Um, but anyway, I look up at this be a pro fighter challenge, whatever the fuck it's called, and uh, go down, and it's you know it's telling you all about it, and then it's going oh this starts like you know January 2023. I'm like, okay, cool. Click on it. How much do you reckon it costs? 10-week challenge. I'd say maybe like 
because I know how much the tickets cost, I know it's like predatory. So I'm already like, I feel it's probably cost maybe like six hundred bucks. Nine hundred and ninety dollars. <laughs> Holy fuck! What a movie! How the fuck are you paying a grand twice? Okay, well I think they do payment plans too. So you nine bucks a week though. Ninety nine dollars a week. That's yeah. so much more. I guess if you put to like a gym weekly is like twenty bucks, and then like a you PT do- session. <laughs> The thing is with it, I think you do get the gear. Like, so you get like a shirt, you get pants. I think you get your own glove wraps and stuff. Like, so maybe you could justify it. But if they're charging you a grand, they're also charging everyone that wants to watch it seventy dollars a ticket. Yeah, they're making it so much fucking. Yeah, and money. you're making no money. Yeah, you, you're they're getting a free fight. Out of they, you. I thought it was free because they use that's they make the money, or it was real cheap, like two hundred bucks. That's what you'd think, but um. And I reckon a lot of charities and stuff, or not charities, businesses would like. Yeah, but I know they sponsor into... about the events. Yeah, dude, that because the whole undercard fucking... is just those guys fighting. So yeah, but I even messaged the boy Watermill. I was like, "Bro, did you seriously pay nine hundred ninety dollars?" And he's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Dude, what the fuck? Nine hundred ninety like just to fight some old fucking forty year old and then get a draw." I That's can't bullshit man. Look, I'd, fuck, I'd be angry if that was me. Yeah, well, I can't justify that. No. I get, like, someone who wants to actually become a pro fighter, but I think... Which I think Watermu wants to. Yeah, he does, yeah. he's um, But, like, a, a lot of these people probably, are like, I'm just going to do this once. Just get get it out of the... Get, like, you know, do something that system, I've yeah. never thought to do before. I can't justify a grand. No fucking way, man. No way. For ten, 10 weeks, like, that's, what, 99 bucks a week. Yeah. Or ninety bucks a week. No, ninety nine dollars. Yeah, ninety dollars a week. Yeah, like you. Just, I know just, you. I know you're getting training like nearly every day or whatever it is. Or no, I think it's like two two times a week. So you're getting like it's like a PT session, I guess. Yeah, I mean that's not too bad. That's, well, that's what I'm saying. I think you like someone who wants to. Yeah, if you're really into that, like you want to do it, like say you're like freshly out of high school and you want to be a fighter. Yeah. Or like that's, say you're a middle aged man and you just want to have that like. Fuck it, why not? Like, why not that midlife crisis thing? I get it. Yeah. But just for like a regular... like. Oh, well, you just fine. cut your hair, so midlife crisis. Yeah, I'm going to die at 50. <laughs> well, boxing fight. Should, should I do it? Right? I'll grow my hair back, do it 10 weeks, and then shave it like this for the fight? <laughs> that would be so fucking belt baller, actually. But, yeah, so I can't justify that. Um, no, I I can't. Hey, Clint, do you know um, what we paid $1,000 to do is... Yeah, that's how much you, that's how much you pay for it. Nothing. You don't earn a cent. <laughs> well, well, we are going to buy a ring. That's the thing. That's the first purchase we got to make. Is the wrestling ring? Yeah, Clint is shocked, just as shocked as you guys are. I can I can see it right now, Cooper, cock in hand, and he's like, mouth open wide. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Even like fucking Gary's got his mouth open for once. And it was stitched before this. Yeah, well, Gary has his mouth open quite often. It is true. He does, he does really do it. Gary, a, a. Whoa, 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 whoa. That doesn't mean you can talk. Shut up. Well, speaking of Watermoo, mm. um, should we put some of the better beer in his dog bowl? Yeah, it's probably. <sighs> he deserves it. It's like. I mean, we're not going to drink it. It's and so shit. Honestly, give me Bro, some Gary's bit and throwing it out, I feel, because it's worse for him. I also make him feel bad. This this beer tastes what tastes like what I think diarrhea would taste like. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid shit. I feel like what I think, just, just so you know, I don't, I don't eat diarrhea. Or do you drink diarrhea? Yeah, no, it's like a it's, soup. It's like a soup. Okay. Um, You'd have a spoon. You wouldn't drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that weird? Why don't people just have soup in a cup? Why don't you just get them, like, you know when you get like your coffee thermos? Mm. Why just bring it and soup in the mornings? Yeah. I guess some people have like chicken soup with chicken in it. Just suck it up noodles. Do I don't mind it. a chicken soup. No, do I. Um, I'm going to get back to Watermoo before we yeah, s- stray sh- too far away from Circle the back to the um, But also I'm taking a piss. Welcome back yeah, again to the number one Shittiest drinking beer podcast. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Shittiest tasting beer podcast. Seriously. Surprisingly, Gary enjoys it. But when you have a diet full of cum... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Who 
don't know the Undertaker. What under- the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Undertaker's here. <laughs> um, Something's going off over there. All right, well, fucking uh, back onto the boy Watermer. So yeah, so um, I'll be wanting to tell a story in the podcast for a while. Like you already know it, but I feel the people at home need to hear this fucking wonderful little treat I've got. Uh, well, let's fucking yeah, let's fucking get away with this yarn. Let's go. So um, so um, Fira doesn't know. Wouldn't move the guy we just talked about as a friend from high school. We've known him for years and years. He moved here in like year 10, 11 or something like that. Yep. Then, um, and then you live in here, up and we're back to New Zealand. He's a Kiwi. If you couldn't tell by Wudamu, context clue. Um, and after he went back, after like two or three years, or maybe like one or two years out of high school, yep. I was working one day and I get a message from him going, Hey, bro, back of the Gold Coast. I was like, Fuck, that's so sick. So my dad picked me from work. I finished at like 10 a.m. ish. Um, I told my dad, I was like, hey, dad, when are we back? Dad's like, fuck, that's sick. Do you want to go see him? I was like, yeah, let's go. Message Wadamu, didn't get a reply. Must have no credit or he just got it like, you know, on the Wi Fi because he just moved back to the country. Yeah. And I was like, I don't really remember where he lives. Yeah. I knew the suburb and yeah. what the house looked like. Yeah. So I told my dad, <laughs> um, and. We drove, so it was in Arundel, we drove down there, and we're like, looking at random like streets, <laughs> and I'm like, I know it wasn't the main road, so I'm looking at random roads, going, this kind of looks like it, this kind of looks like it, and I pass one one house, and I'm like, oh yeah, that looks like his driveway, and the flags, like, the car's got like a multi flag in the back window, and I'm like, oh, it must oh, be. This is it, yeah. And I saw like, as I'm walking up the driveway, I'm like, this must be it, I'm like, dad, can you wait for a sec, just in case it's not the right house? Dad's like, yeah, cool, I'll drop you off, walk up. Knock on the door. As I'm knocking on the door, I'm like, fuck, that's weird. They've got like a chicken coop there. Like, I don't remember when we were having chickens. It's fucking weird. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's probably at the right house. I'm like, for fuck's sake, I've got the wrong house. This little, like, old moldy lady answers. And I was like, hey, um, does Woodmoo live here? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, she's like, oh, do you want to see him? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm off my way to Major High School. I want to catch up with him. She's like, oh, yeah, he's just in the shower. Come on in. So I come on in. Um, I walk in, just go inside. She's like, oh, you might be a little while. Like, if you want, do you want to some breakfast? Want some to eat? Yeah. I was like, nah, it's all good. I'm all good, thanks. Just, I've already ate. <laughs> Don't want any food. Um, and so, oh, you can wait outside from here. Be out in like a few minutes. I was like, yeah, cool. Just hanging in the backyard, waiting for the bro wooden move. Um, after a few minutes, I'm just like, fuck, he's in the shower for a while. Yeah, is he, is, is, was he having a schwank? He might have been, eh? I was like, fuck, it's been a while, bro. I haven't seen him in a few years. And um, then I turn around, someone's coming outside. It's this big fella. He's probably like 30, like, balding fat I was like fuck like this one was uncle or some shit like that like <laughs> someone who's cousin or something and I was like this guy's gonna be like why the fuck you in my house it's weird it's weird and I was like hey bro he's like what's up and then the, the old lady comes out and goes oh yeah what a move this is your friend from high school at that point I realised <laughs> oh my god I'm in the wrong fucking house dude like what are the odds <laughs> what are the fucking odds what are the guy- fucking <laughs> Watermoo though, like that's not a common name. No, no, but I feel like if you got if you have a married kid, yeah. <laughs> that might be one of like the go to names. Fuck, dude. But man, it was super fucking awkward because I'm like they're going, oh, this is the wrong Watermoo. I said it to them because I was like I'm in the wrong house and the, the bros like laughing, going, think I was like, having a joke with him because he was just as awkward as I was because I was like standing there, go, hey, bro, like he's never met me before either. He's like, who's this? And I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you do just stand there like not talking for like 10 minutes. Bro, oh, the happiest part was though, like I was actually hungry as fuck. Yeah, so imagine. I'm so lucky I didn't start eating breakfast. I'm like having Nutrigrain or some shit. Oh. And this random cunt comes out, I'm just eating their food. Nah, imagine like, she's like, you sit down, she's making you like bacon eggs, bro. Yeah. How do you like your eggs? You're like, oh, sunny side up, thanks. Yeah. Get your full feed, man. This, the programs I've never been before in my life. And luckily, I tried to, I was like, oh, I better leave. I was, sorry, guys. And they're just laughing about it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, cool. This is awkward as fuck. I'm going to get murdered. And, and then my, my dad's driving down the road as I leave. Like, he waved for a little bit. But he was just going. And I was like, fuck. Yeah. I'm like running down the road out of the house going, dad, wrong house, wrong house, wrong house. And he's like, what happened? I was like, it's not what a movie house. So, like, oh, but you walked in. I was like, I know. <laughs> oh, dude. Imagine if you sat down and ate. That's the worst like, part Like, what of can it. you say there? You just kind of had to deal with it, and you make new friends. Then you yeah. just become, like, that water move's mate. That water move is now your best mate. Yeah. Um, that was... Same suburb, same name. Yeah, yeah that's Wodemu. fucking... That's awesome, dude. I mean, it was a good story. And then I, I met with water move, like, probably, like, 
two days later and told him a story he didn't believe me you're like no one believed me until my dad backed me up about yeah. it <laughs> yeah well I mean why would you lie about that but it's like it's just so unbelievable it's it, like, it is a little unbelievable but fuck that is funny that's a good fucking story it's probably the most awkward moment of my life besides Maz watching me take a shit well you got Kanye on your fucking board again I don't I've got something about Kanye too and I don't know if it's the same thing you have so I'm gonna say mine first so I saw Just it. Cut my grass. Yeah, well, I'm gonna mow your lawn. Um, you're like, yeah, dude. It actually needs mowing. Can yeah, you? Yeah, bro. Just do the size real quick. No, like out outside. Oh, yeah. Could I just go for a mow if you want to do it? Um, Give me some background. So Kanye today was on. Um, so three weeks ago for you guys. Yeah, three weeks ago. Um, he was on. What's his name? I can't think of his last name or his. What's his first name? Alex. Is it? Oh, Maybe Alex, that's Alex, um, Alex um, Johnson. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. He was on Alex Jones' podcast. Alex Jones. Info Wars? Was that still a thing? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Alex Jones. The frog's gay, dude. Yes, I think so. I don't know. It's like there's, there's shit in the water making the frog's gay. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. It's Alex but, Jones' meme. So, Alex Jones, he... Uh, what does he say? He says... He said something about, like, Nazis. He's like, fuck Nazis or something. Yeah. And Kanye goes, whoa, whoa, hold on. Kanye, uh, Hitler's not that bad of a guy. I, yeah, I saw this as well. And he was, like, saying how he loved everyone. Yeah, he was like, you can't fault, like, everyone has faults. And he's like, you can't just judge him for, like, his one fault. And it's like... Genocide. What? That's like, um, saying BPC. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, but he was also a, a pillar of the community. He also loved to go and help, help kids swing at the playground. Yeah. Like, does that make him a good person? Fuck no. I mean, has Kanye, like, completely hit rock bottom now that he's, like, saying the, like, even Hitler himself? Bro, within three days, he's Especially saying, after talking about Jew shit. He, yeah, so he talked about fucking um, being a Jew himself and, like... What? Him he being a Jew? He called himself a black Jew, yeah. Hmm. Uh, no. So this podcast, the first episode started with us saying if we hate Jews or not, which we don't. No. But now I figured out Kanye really does. Yeah. That's how you... And also thinks Hitler isn't that bad. (laughs) Yeah. How how do you call yourself a Jew and then be like, Hitler's not that bad? Yeah. He literally did the worst thing to your Yeah, he actually singled them out. Like, Like, um, he... Yeah. Besides, like, maybe, like, the Romans killing Jesus. No, that's probably not even that bad compared to it, Well, it's also... It's also fake. (laughs) <laughs> it's also not real because religion is a culty. It's a scam. It's also, why religions not pay tax? If I just start a business and say it's also religion, can I just not pay tax on it? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it, let's do that. Is religion like crypto? Body on the Rocks is now a religion, by the way. Is the religion we... like crypto? You don't pay tax on crypto. Don't you pay tax on crypto? No. You have to. No. I, You're I'm, going to get fucking fine. I'm pretty sure crypto is tax-free. No, it's not. Dude. It's like OnlyFans and shit. It's not tax free. All either. my money. Yeah. Like those people that made like $200,000 $200, and spent it all in like, like super bad debt and that now. Oh, yeah. Because they're fucking <laughs> shitty a beer. Um, <laughs> it wasn't just me. That this was time. the first time I think I've said it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fuck. All right. Well, what did you have to say about Kanye? Was that it? Bro, it's the same thing. That, um, yeah. He's like, he's got to pay 200 k in child support. A fucking month now to Kim Kardashian, who's also like a billionaire, so I understand how it works. Yeah. It's, like, it why do your kids need 200k a month? What what lifestyle is that that you're trying to upkeep? It doesn't make any sense, the whole child support thing, especially when they're rich like that. Yeah, it was not like she's going to be broke without it. So you've got money, he's got money. She's got more money than him now, because he's going to lose all his brand deals. Well, that's what I mean. So that he sh- technically, he should... If it was in Australia, I don't think he would have to pay. No, because no, she's got her own income. Yeah. Um, he hasn't, well, because no, she like, makes a more income than yeah, him. True. Does she get to give him money then? No. No. <laughs> she keeps the kids and has to pay him. <laughs> Dude, that sounds baller as fuck. I want that. <laughs> um, I right, will fucking... Why don't you hit us with a bit of a hot take here? Bit of a hot take? Bit of a hot take, eh? Hey? Hot, yeah, thanks um, to Connor's soon-to-be brother-in-law for giving us the hot tip about Australia. Yeah, what, how much did he make again? Two grand. Two grand on the Socceroos, but didn't tell us. Someone. Yeah, so as you're watching this, that happened, I don't know, three, four weeks ago. Yeah, cheers, Nados. Um, here we got one saying, shitting is better than coming. 
<laughs> is that from is that from you or is that from fucking uh, a fan? Um I'm gonna go out and say it's probably from Jesse. Um I can't remember. See half of these I'm like oh, I can't remember who wrote them, where they came from. <laughs> Alright, uh, well um what do you reckon? No. I I would say not with shitting. Maybe when you have like a really, really bad like diarrhea, it's like it's good to get it out. But no, I feel, no, it still doesn't feel as good as coming. No. But one time, right? So I was on my way to a festival. You shit and came. No, no, no. This is, this is pissing. Okay. Different, but kind of same. Ballpark. I'm trying to burp on the camera. This fucking beer is so frothy. <coughs> <laughs> Throws up. <laughs> um, so I was on the way from the festival in Maitland, and it was like a massive drive. We were in the car for like an hour or so until we got there. I drank a full like seven, eight beers on the way because I was like, dude, we're going to get straight in there. I'm going to get fucking charged before I go on pre-drink hard. Yeah. Then we got there. Turns out we had all the tickets for the whole group. There's only two of us waiting. So we had to wait for everyone to turn up because you can't go in without, the, without them because you, know, you can't bring the tickets uh, back out. Yeah. So I'm sitting at the front for like an hour for these people to turn up after drinking eight beers. And like my blood is going to explode. It's like you're also hurting. Yeah. And I'm like, each time I move, I'm, like, I'm going to piss my pants. I was thought, finally thought, fuck it. I start pissing in the car park, rub us off a car. People walking past me, everyone's just going past. And dude, I was in that 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 like state of coming, like euphoria. I didn't care. People looking at my dick. I didn't care. But I was just pissing everyone. Going, oh my god, I'm fucking. I'm like. It feels so good. Bro, when you need was, to piss. No better in my life, man. It was so fucking good. Yeah. See, I'd put pissing up there, but not shitting. Yeah. Not shitting. Pissing though. No? Someone Definitely. must like things coming in and out of his asshole for it to be. Maybe if they only come from anal though, that might be it. Hmm. Maybe it's Gary who wrote this. Gaza. Gazza. Does he get pen rights in your house? No. Gizza, oh, no. Yeah. There's no way he's going to be... Yeah, well... Yeah, anything well, he can use to call for help or write a message down, he can't use. Treating him like a human wouldn't make sense. Well, we like we do talk about shitting a lot on this podcast, and I got another shitting story. Hey, let's go. So, fuck it. Um, Where do the used ones go? I just chucked it on the... Yeah, okay. Into the void. <laughs> what else in the void? <laughs> Wait, where is it? <laughs> Everyone just saw the back of your head. <laughs> oh, did they? <laughs> <laughs> Look good? I'll get out the old Spice flag for later on. That'll be coming up in the new year. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, it looks so good, bro. I forgot about until I went to a piss just before. Like, I saw my head and I was like, fuck, I'm going to get dumped. <laughs> So we're going to have a tender section of the podcast from next month or something. <laughs> um, yeah, so another shitting story. So I don't know if you were there for this, but when I was living in Coomba, yep. um, just down the road from here, really. Um, that would what, make for an easy fucking podcast, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Um, one night, um, we went to the midnight release of Fast and Furious. Oh, I was there. So you were there? Yeah, I came for that, yeah. Um... Did fast you, seven. Yeah, I don't know if you um no was it fa- I think it was fast five. Oh no, I can't remember Paul Walker it was, died. Okay, so it was fast seven, yeah, sorry. Um Yeah, so we went to the midnight release for this thing. Um and we I don't know if you came with us, but we jumped at our back fence and we walked to Harbour Town. And then we also walked home at the end yeah. of the night. But did you come with us? I don't think I walked home with you. I think I got a ride home. But so, um, so I w- was there for the movie. That's about it. Yeah. So we walk as we're walking home. Um, it's like me, myself, me, myself, <laughs> yeah, me, myself, second. and I. Yeah. Um, good night, bro. You and you and all the boys, eh? It was myself, Cooper, Mitchell, uh, Christian. I don't know who else. Maybe Maz. Yeah. Maybe His local. Maybe time. Geordie. I'm not. I'm not too sure. I'm not familiar with who who was there. Alistair was there, I'm pretty sure. And we're walking. Oh, no, Alistair would have got an Uber. But anyway, we're walking, and Cooper goes, I really need a shit. And you know how, like, some of those lots didn't have houses? Yeah, yeah, they were just, like, empty, like, vacant lots. Bro, Cooper goes, everyone walk ahead. And we're like... <laughs> Bro, it's so close to your house. Like, can't you hold for 10 more minutes? No, nah, because like, cause you got to jump the fence. Oh, like, yeah, you, true. Yeah, the, full, yeah. the whole, like... <laughs> thing. The landing would have just pushed it out, and bro, like he, he just pulls his dax down, and he's like right next to this house, like shitting, and everyone's sort of like, "What's where's Cooper? What's Cooper doing?" And I'm just like, everyone just keep walking, like, and 
and all I can hear is. Fuck it, how can? Um. Yeah. So Cooper just took a shit, and then every time I walked down that street i was like cooper shat right there <laughs> like right there i if i walk past it today i go oh cooper, sh- we the cooper shit right there he marked his territory yeah literally and um but yeah like i guess cooper's experience was as good as this beer shit yeah i can also um give you a one up for that one yeah so back in the day we used to maz's house now it used to be geordie's house I remember one time when we were there when Jordy kicked us all out, as as he does. Yeah. Um, Typical. I had a few few too many bongs. I was fucking off my head. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to walk home because um, everyone else is walking home and I'm not going to call my mum because I'm scared. So I'm <laughs> like walking home, take a wrong turn down the wrong way, alleyway because I was trying to get to the shortcut through the school. Oh, like, yes. I took the wrong turn. I was like, fucking yeah, shit really badly. That shortcut like, is walked scary. Down, too. Walked the whole way down Jacaranda before I realized I went the wrong street. I was like, mm, this is Runaway Bay. <laughs> So I had to walk back this other way. Got through the shortcut. At that point, I was like at the school. I was like, fuck, my stomach's so sore. I need to take a shit. I'm going to shit my pants. Yeah. Like, no one was around. I was in front of the school. I thought, fuck it. I'll just take a shit right here. And like, pull my pants down. Just liquid. Just oh. all over the floor, right by the school fence. <laughs> we used the leaf, I guess. Like, the tree there. Oh, wipe my ass. Like, this isn't helping. Like, it's just a liquid. I'm wiping with the leaf. I'm just going to put my pants back on and go home and wash all my clothes. But yeah... You don't feel like a human after doing that? No. No. Um, and I'm kind of ashamed that you told this the story was, on the podcast. This was actually during the day when kids were at school. <laughs> That's why I can't go to schools anymore. Yeah, exactly. He brown-eyed the the principal. Maybe I should see how many kids I can pick up on Monday with this haircut. At the van, at the front of the school. Oh, uh, fuck. Don't. Yeah, I wouldn't even attempt it. That's, that's leave that to... Uh, but it's like hiding in plain sight. It looked too much like a pedophile to be one. That's true. All right, we're going to have to cut here because Jacko needs the piss. All right, Gary, stop. All right, we're back. Boom! Back on it. Like Sonic. Number one shitty podcast. Number one shitty beer. (laughs) Bro, we're just going to rip the fuck on this beer. Bro, it's honestly... Like, the Jemison, we had a lot of banter with how good it was. This is, like, the exact opposite of that. It's like, this is so shit we could talk about all fucking day. Yeah. Oh, dude. Let's play What Would You Rather Have? Chlamydia or have to drink these beers for the rest of your life? And only that, alcohol-wise. Is it true you can only get chlamydia once? No, no you can get it a lot. You can get it a lot. No? Not from experience, but it's just like one pill to get rid of it or something. Okay. Um, is there anything from my board? John Cena. John Cena. Yes, wrestler. We all love wrestling on this podcast. We fucking do, man. It's our... Um, Can't lie. It's a good fucking... It's our... Good shout. What's... It's our... Um, passion? Well, it is our passion, but it's our... The word has not come to me right now, so I can't think of it. Fuck. It was it's a part great. of our upbringing. It was a part of our upbringing. But uh, anyways... Yeah, we're raising that. We cut our teeth in that shit. John Cena's fucking Instagram... I didn't, I've never seen it. Dude, he posts just random shit. Is it good? Is it funny? Or is it like just weird? So It's like Britney Spears posting random we're gonna We're going to um, chuck up a screenshot right now. Yeah. Right? But I want, you, I want you to look on your phone. All right. I'm have a look, look at John Cena's Instagram. Like, it's just the most random shit, dude. Okay. Like, he's... <laughs> John Cena. John Cena, you can't see me. <laughs> it's a picture of um <laughs> Is it Jim Carrey as um I don't know, it's turtle. What? Is this hacked? No, it's not hacked. It's literally just random photos. What a boomer. <laughs> Dude. Is he bringing back OG Instagram? It's like OG Instagram. It's just random photos that he <laughs> likes. They have no rhyme or reason. There's no can theme. You, can you show me? There's no theme. Yeah, or like anything. Th- there's just no, like... Dude! He's getting, like, 200k likes. Dude, like, what the fuck? That one makes no sense. That he one makes sense. Maker. That's because he is... That's, yeah. None of this makes sense. None of this makes fucking... Dude, it's so weird. But anyway, so... That's is he my... still on WWE? 
No, he might. Have, he probably has a contract with Peacemaker thing. Oh yeah, true. So yeah. he might not be allowed. To, I'm not yeah. sure. But um, yeah. So that's my thing on John Cena. Like it was just a quick little thing. It's just so random, dude. I come across it one day. Yeah, it's weird. That's a verified I account. Think, it's just his account. I think Logan Paul replied to the Logan Paul photo. Yeah. And, you know, it made me click on the John Cena profile. And I was like, looking at all the photos and I was like, oh, this is like a fan account. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, no, no, this is real. It's like a seven-year-old daughter fucking like this is started fucking, putting shit up. Like that ice cream photo, I was like, it's, it's a fucking ice cream. Yeah. Why is he... T- <laughs> and 200 K people liked it as well. Yeah. Fuck, um, well, John Cena, bit of a fucking mad cunt. Okay, well... <sighs> This is away from the John Cena thing, but podcast awards. So, recently... The potties? Uh, are they it? called? I, I don't know. But it's the the Australian podcast awards, I should say. Oh, did we get a mention? So, okay, so this is the funniest thing, right? <laughs> so, the, the boys I listen to most frequently, the Hello Sport boys, they're fucking... Yeah. They're a good yarn. Um... And they're there talking, they're like, talking about the, uh, yeah, Australian Podcast Awards. And they're like, they're like, oh, what the fuck is with that? Like, you know. Where's the invite? Yeah, well, that's what they said. They're like, where the fuck's the invite? And anyway, one of them goes, oh, no, you have to pay to be nominated. Oh, so you have to, like, pay a fee. That's such a, that's a fucking scam. So you pay to be nominated, right? And you have to do all the clips and stuff yourself. Like, you have to send them your own work. So, like, you're... Okay, okay. You're, like, I guess, portfolio, resume? Yeah, to be in it. So, they don't even do any work. They just go, okay, we'll just choose the yeah. best one. Is Their work should be that. Looking that up, yeah. And, like, so you've got, like, so... I'll just talk about, like, um, Alpha Blog's podcast, right? I think they're, in Australia, they're the number two most streamed podcast a What's week. The first? Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess the whole world is Joe Rogan. But, like, obviously at these awards, technically, they should win. Yeah, best the most the biggest Australian podcast. Yeah. yeah. But um, because it's you have to pay, some, it's like just some random... It's some like, random, like, fucking yeah. friends... And I we should, saw we should it. just jump in, bro. Fuck it. I saw it and I was like, that's very fucking weird. Like, for one, you have to pay. That seems like a scam. That seems like Ima- so... Imagine Neighbours. Like, oh, you want to you wanna be nominated for show of the year? You better fucking pay. I don't and know I'm, how they do that, eh, with the Academy Awards and shit. Maybe they do pay. Nah, I don't reckon they would. I reckon it would be off, like... Just, like, public acclaim and stuff. There would probably be, like, a panel. Yeah. You know, like, imagine... NRL players, it's like, oh, you want to win Dally M? You better fucking pay up. Yeah, you got to fucking give half your paycheck. It's like the imagine like the shittest player in the NRL. It's like, yeah, fuck, I'll I'll. Put Only guy who puts money into it. I'll put my name in. They're like, okay, well, by default, the winner is fucking blah blah blah. And it's like, I'm trying to think of the shittiest player I remember is um, his name um, no, I can't think of anyone. No, neither. Neither. Just um, trying to shit players. I don't want to call anyone out. That might yeah, be no, okay. Uh, well, I don't want to call anyone out because it's like... They're still better than me. Yeah, way, <laughs> yeah, way yeah I do have played NRL, so... Um. But yeah, so the fucking podcast awards. Biggest scam. That's why I think we should do our own podcast awards. Submit your um, thing, send us some money, and we'll... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll have a look at them. We'll, have we'll a call look. it the potties. Yeah, we'll call it the potties. The potty on the rocks potties. Yeah. The uh, Potty Awards. Potty on body, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Exactly. Why not? Gary can be a host. Yeah, if you guys want to see Gary in person, or not in person, well, you guys can come, I guess. Yeah. We're going to rent out a hall for it. But, um, yeah, fucking, I mean. Bro, that's a fucking scam, but we should get into it. I yeah, like that, that is a scam. Um. What have you heard lately in the re... Dude, I'm still th- so thrown off by these fucking drinks. Dude, this is like... If this is the worst episode you've ever seen, it's because we're depressed. Very depressed. I'm not even... I'm covering the logo. I... You already know what it is. <laughs> We've been look showing it for like the last half 45... Just keep blurring it out now. I hate this, and I hate you too. Not you... I hate that inspired unemployed. 
Nah, they're okay. I can't hate them. I just hate whoever designed this beer and thought this is a good idea. Dude. Did it's they like drinking do soda they, water, but f- kind of flat. Do you reckon they drink it? Nah. Because honestly, well, like... They can't do, besides like promo stuff. There's yeah. no way they could drink that. Yeah, someone's like, oh, why are you drinking rum and coke? And he's like, oh, um... I'm just a bit over beer, eh? I can't bender on beer. And it's like, oh... Dude, should we make a beer called Bender Beer? It's not... A- Bad idea. And like make it similar to their can. Bend a bit. That'd be a good idea. And make it like an eight percent or some shit. And make it so much better. <laughs> yeah. And we'll be like, we're better than the other beers. Or just like bend a bear and then be like it's better than bear. And it's not even bear, it's like vodka. It's just a seltzer. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's vodka on the rocks. Yes. Okay, and fucking It's a potty on the rocks, vodka on the rocks. Send us money so we can invest. Yeah, please help us. Be make, investors. Yeah, just help us make our Dreams possible. I'm jumping into a hot take. And happy buy a fucking wig. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is so fitting and this was not planned because we didn't know that you were gonna cut your hair on the podcast. <laughs> and I know who sent this in too, I'm pretty sure it was your younger sister. Connor's Bieber hair over his current hair. <laughs> think again. <laughs> think again. Because I think his current hair wins. Current hair might win this, honestly. <laughs> Um, we get a photo of the baby here to put up. That was before, yeah, yeah, the um, fucking cut. The yeah, haircut. the cut. So my long hair, it was pretty nice. Looks pretty good on the podcast. Everyone enjoyed it. That's so funny. Um, let's still see if that this works with this. If I can pull with this, you have a girlfriend. I know, but if she stays with me, oh okay. Like if I can go there tonight and seal the deal, yeah, with this, yeah. I'm gonna wear a beanie. And then when I get there, I'll take it off. So oh I'm already in her house. She can't kick me out. Oh, my God. I'll see what happens. Dude, she might want to fuck with the lights off. Yeah, she might just mace me. And be like, Who the fuck's in my house? <laughs> like, Mr. Burns is fucking breaking into the house. But you- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is she going to leave it like that? Yeah, my day. Just for tonight. Until you go to the... I'll take my razor with getting- me. Are you going to the hairdressers tomorrow? I'm- what am I going to fucking do with it? It's too short to do anything with it. They're gonna. They'll professionally like shave it for you. But I'm just gonna shave it. It'll be the same length all the way anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like at this point, it's that thin. They're just gonna go. Okay, retard. And just like shave <laughs> it a little bit more. <laughs> you can keep that one in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> might be able to. Might leave that one in for the for the. It's already hurting for the homies. Yeah. We haven't if done. If it lasts this long, it's fine. Yeah. We haven't done this in a while. Um. Call outs, shout outs. Yeah. I think. She finally deserves one. All right. Um, shout out to my sister, Paris. Um, loyal fan. Loyal fan. She watched every episode. Um, and also, oh, that's a cool thing. Um, she's giving me a job interview. So, hope that works out. That's probably um, really loud. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> In the like an ear. I was, I was clapping. For <laughs> um, so, that, that also is another reason why my hair is cut as well. Yeah. Got to look professional for my new job as a neo-Nazi. Um, <laughs> as, as in the um, in the fucking SS. Um, no, it's doing brokerage. Yeah. So it's more for Wall Street shit. I'll just do a lot of cocaine at work. Dude. Not do a lot of work. Dude. Mm. I'm gonna go mm. in there and be like, your brother looks like a fucking cancer patient. <laughs> he can't work here. Mm. <laughs> oh, dude, that movie's so fucking good. That's one of the best movies I've seen ever. And you can see Margot Robbie naked, so that's like a win-win. Margot Robbie goes off. She's like a 10 out of 10, I reckon. I remember seeing her on Neighbours, which is so fucking... Was she hot on Neighbours? Yeah, Donna. That was her name. I Donna. never watched Neighbours. Bro. Donna went off, bro. You would? Yeah. Who wouldn't? I don't know. An Aussie girl. Gary. <laughs> Shitty a beer. He is a bit of a prick. <laughs> yeah. He loves a little... <laughs> <laughs> little, little knob slob. <laughs> All right. Um, I... We we this was up here last week and never got into it. Moon reality. Reality. Oh, is it reality? I thought it was reality like buying the moon. No. Moon reality. So moon reality. So Oh, okay. I've just got dyslexia, I guess. So there's always been talk about like, oh, can we live on the moon? Right? Yeah. Eventually there will be a reality T V show on the moon. Dude. And, and I'd watch Dude, that. Dude, that's good. I I'd, love that. I'd watch that shit. I would too. 
Well, see, I've thought the same kind of thing about like eventually when aliens, we do see aliens and they're real and we hang out with them and stuff. Reality so, TV. Show. Like, when are they going to bring them into like the Kardashians or like fucking neighbors? No, bro. Think about it like this. You remember the show Robin Big? No. No? What was that? Rob Didick? Rob Didick? And he had the Fantasy Factory? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there was a guy named B... Uh, but that's that that's that really tall, like, black dude. Yeah, yeah. he was a yeah. security guard, and his name yeah. was, like, uh, Big Black or something. Yeah, that was, like, that was the same time as, like, um just when Jack Huston was going yeah. around, day. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So, bro, imagine that. So, like, you know, Connor and... My pet alien. Yeah, you're alien, bro. And, like, you're just doing cool, funny shit, bro. Just probing everyone. But, like... Okay, but yeah, so back to the moon part, though. Imagine they send the first, let's say, first 50 people to the moon. It's like Survivor Moon. Well, I wasn't thinking, like, they kill... Oh, <laughs> I was thinking, like, Predator. They kill each <laughs> yeah, other. I was like, what but, the fuck, bro? Survivor's not that dark, man. But, no, nah, you send, like... Let's say they send 50 hell. people to the moon, and then, like, you know, out of them, 20 of them. Or, or no, let's say ten are on a reality TV show, almost like Big Brother yeah. on the moon. That'd be cool. This is Big Brother Moon. That'd be fucking sick, man, dude. Imagine being the first person to fuck on the moon. That's already happened. They've done some gay shit up there. Those, <laughs> those Apollo, those like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, they did some gay shit up there. Yeah. They're probably just like, hey, bro, Neil Armstrong. But think about, like, imagine you get up with your dick out on the moon. It just, like, just automatically just gets crushed by the fucking, like, lack Would of... It? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Out I of guess, the suit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, oh, it's gone. Yeah. And it's gone. But, yeah, so, like, a moon reality TV show. They definitely fucked on a space station. I'd though. watch it. I would, too. Dude, that'd be amazing. Dude, that'd be... That would be... That would get the most watched view... Like, views on Earth ever. Even better idea, though. Even better idea. They think it's the moon, but the search gets sent up, fucks with the ocean, and they just put them in some random terror dome that looks like the moon and just have screens. So they think they're on the moon, but really they're just in some random part in Narang in like some fucking factory. Oh, or... Six months in a dome where you think you're on the moon and they finally let it open, but oh, it goes to the next area and it's just fucking Narang. Or someone chaotic puts them in a spaceship and sends them straight into the sun. Elon Musk would do that, I feel, for science. What, just kill people? I don't know. He seems pretty chaotic. He's autistic enough that he don't, think he, don't really think he has morals. If bro, Elon Musk was saying that he saw Speed at the World Cup. Oh, yeah? And Speed was, like, just barking at him like a dog, so he barked back at him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Dude, bro, fucking... Elon is, like, he is goaded. He's funny as fuck, man. Oh, he, bro. He, do you know he crowned himself as, like, Twitter's most popular user? Like, did he? So he's the most popular loser on Twitter at the moment, does and he, he was like, "Does he make himself that though?" Does well, just, no, I mean, they made there was a Twitter like award things about it, and he oh, like so did he nominate and pay him for it? Pretty much, he owns the company, so I guess he did. Uh, so like he, it was like most um, was like so it was a Twitter awards. It was like most um recognized user, and it was like Elon Musk. It's like, well, yeah, that's you. Yeah. So he's, the meme of Obama giving himself the medal. It's that he's presenting the awards, and he's like. And the award for most active user. Use with the biggest penis. Oh, me. Also me. <laughs> he's just at the Richest end of the night, user. He's like holding like 10 awards. He's like, I cleaned up tonight. And he's like, user with the most racist user. It's like, oh, Kanye West. Kanye West. Sorry, Kanye mate. Kanye West, yeah. Is it, and oh. then <laughs> um, Donald Trump's like, fuck, I thought I had it. Fuck, fuck. Bro, did you see they um he reactivated Kanye West, Donald Trump, and Andrew Tate? Yeah, bro. The also, boys. Andrew the Tate, threes of the Holy Trinity. Andrew Tate is actually goaded. I, I no. The more I think about, I think it, we're right, better. No, the more I think about it, dude. Andrew Tate, right? Apparently, he had his account up for like, like within the first two days, it got like he got over like two million followers. Yeah, he is a goat, but. So, the thing is with Andrew Tate, I look at it and I'm like, I don't know what he'd done to actually get cancelled because... It was I know, just misogyny and like... No, I know a lot of... Mis- but like, like, is that allowed... Like, freedom of spinch, spitch, spinach. <laughs> the freedom of speech... Popeye shit. You can have as much spinach as you want. But freedom of speech, you should be able to just... 
talk your shit. Yeah, but still, it, it can come down to hate speech as well, though. Like, you can't say racist shit. Oh, I guess, I mean, you get fucking taken down for talking about sucking on penis. What did... So... Let's go Fuck into, off TikTok. What did our TikTok, the second one, get taken down for? Me shaving my hair got taken down for no reason. Yeah, I feel like the only bad thing we may have talked about on that video was if I get 10,500 10, likes, yeah. I'll graph my foreskin onto his dick. I think that's. Dude, we're getting pretty close to That's probably why they keep liking it. That's going to be fucked up. I mean, for you, I don't care about losing my foreskin. It sucks for you. you no, get- bro, I didn't never agree to it. By the time I camera. really need to piss again. Oh, I need to as well. These beers are shit. Should we sword fight? Sword yes, fight. So. All right. Well, let's talk about. Um, you did mention a bit there that Elon Musk had a bit of autism. Yeah. Okay. So um, he I, sort of does. I he, think he's got Asperger's. I feel. I've got undiagnosed. I think autism. we both do. That's why this podcast works. Um, but so the Elon Musk thing. So here's Asperger's. He's brought it up himself on the Joe Rogan podcast. But you can't say Asperger's anymore because, like, the doctor whose name was Asperger, he is a Nazi. So now that's cancelled. You got to say on the spectrum. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, you got to say on the spectrum. Well, it's just being Asperger. Yeah, so Asperger's Asperger. is on the spectrum. <laughs> Dude, Asperger. Shout out to Asperger. Imagine, like, you're doing all this Nazi villainy Gary. and you're like, also, I found what autism was. Cool. Hitler's autistic. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, no, he's got Asperger's. Gary got really excited because we talked about ass. Yeah, and burgers and eating ass. Yeah, well, you do eat but, burgers, and he was like, "Oh, relatable to ass." Yeah, I, <laughs> I eat ass too. Um, um, shout out to Clint. He's chopping up some lettuce in the background, so if you can hear some crunching. Yeah, we got a we got the um podcast um the cooking show on the so that's on the OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, naked cook. Dude, we actually need to chuck in like a little small segment of Clint just cooking. Yeah, maybe just maybe just put it on the um on the uh, Instagram reel to yeah. dinner, yeah. <laughs> little dinner break. <laughs> yeah, and it's like the old. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's like Dad doing his you food sponsored <laughs> section. It's like half of the video we have a little ad. It's like that or Raid Show Legends. Dude, it should be at the start of the video and like the first like 10 minutes of just Clint cooking and everyone's like, is this the right podcast? What the, what the fuck is going on? Who's this guy? Um, but what like, I say, this is also, way more exciting than what I was listening. Yeah, we, we find we get all the, all the clicks go off when it goes back to the podcast. We get like 10,000... Views for the episode, but it, we realize it dips off after 10 minutes. Yeah, it's like, like, like the clicks will go off right after that. As soon as Clint's off the stage, they's like leave. <laughs> um, but autism, right? I had an autumn test online. Yeah, oh, can is it free? Yeah, yeah, we should you should do one too. And with the results should we up. do it for the podcast? It's pretty long. No, 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 so like we'll do it off camera and then next week it'll be like results are in yeah well so I did one. Oh, well next week I did one and Lucy did one too and um she had her one she was like oh like you may be on the spectrum and then I did my one and it comes with like fucking bold letters and it's like um you are highly likely to be autistic <laughs> I thought it was pretty nice <laughs> but it wasn't even like a nice it was like congrats you have autism <laughs> it's like sending you like links <laughs> so it's get like, help <laughs> yeah legit that's what it was it was like a full, full like um link to like the government page I want to do it. But yeah, it was like, you're highly likely to have autism. Well, I'm, I'm going to do it, and next week we'll have the results. Some of the questions are really weird, though. It's like, do you cover your ears when you hear loud noises? I'm like, nope. And then other ones are like, do you get annoyed when someone puts you off task? Do you get angry when you can't do things you like? And I'm like, yeah, definitely. Why wouldn't I? Yeah. And there's always ones I'm like, yeah, it's normal. And Lucy's like, hmm, that's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, yeah. It's like... It's things I thought were totally normal make me autistic, I guess. Well, you've done it with your miss. I'm going to do it with my Yeah, do it. Do it together yeah. and see what you guys get. Do it at the same time. And then, cause that way you can Dude, ask th- each other. Then we, might like, all, get... then we might also realise that, like... We're all autistic. Well, no. Like, both our misses will realise that they're dating autistic well, people. Well, that's what, that's what I was going to get to about it. But right? I, there's actually nothing wrong with being autistic because, again, Elon Musk literally yeah. said he's... Autistic, and he's like one of the smartest dudes alive. Yeah, and also very rich, and that's woman. Yeah, and fuck Amber Heard, and probably has a shalong. I don't know, man. I feel like he doesn't gotta, need one. I feel like if you got to think that hard, your dick probably ain't big. Yeah, he will. He doesn't. Mm. He's probably got. He's got to compensate for it. Mm, yeah. Okay. Get to try. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, dude. You know how there's like a gay pride flag and stuff. Do you reckon there's an autistic flag? There totally is. Dude, 
<laughs> Let's put it up. Let's put it up. The awesome flag. Dude, we just fucking... I just like edit it in. Also, guys, you can't cancel me for saying that certain word anymore because now I now I can't identify as that. Yeah, exactly. So fuck you, haters. I guess when I say it, it has to be beeped. Yeah, because I haven't been diagnosed yet. But now you, can, I can say it. Um, but that's what I was going to get at my girlfriend. Now that um, I'm technically autistic. And taking taken off the market. So when she's like, she's talking shit about me. I'm like, well, you sleep with me, so that's also you're a predator. Like she was like she's like oh yeah, you're autistic eh? And I'm like yeah and you sleep with me you're a threat predator you're honestly preying on someone that's less advantaged or mentally challenged you're a predator mm. so now I can win every argument I just call her a rapist <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell I've not put lost her an in, argument since you put her in the same category as BPC <laughs> I mean I'm over as age. Voldemort I'm over age so same category as Tom Rennie yeah but no but. He is oh, still... Let's push that button. Did I just put my speaker up? No, no that's right. Okay. No, but um, PBC did... Mel- uh, he raped. He did and rape. And necrophilia, like, which is probably the worst. No, I think that's better. I think we went into this before. Yeah. yeah, we did speak about this. I'd rather rape after they're dead. Mm. I'd rather... None. It's like a flashlight. That's a real flesh. Well, I'd rather, I'd rather none. I'd rather not rape at all. Yeah. Um. Yeah, probably for the best. But yeah, legality so, wise, I don't condone rape. So like one time I was fucking this autistic, like Down syndrome chick, <laughs> and um, <laughs> bro, that's the mother of your children. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck are you getting into? <laughs> nah, nah. So this chick was deaf also, and like, she obviously couldn't hear. <laughs> um and you know like again like previously like <laughs> so like when you stuck it in it was like <laughs> <laughs> she's like trying to sign wrong hole and you're like baby baby I <laughs> can't of, understand what you're saying like a, <laughs> yeah it was like oh <laughs> oh <laughs> just make just make Clint Surrey go off don't stop. <laughs> but it was really please stop but you can't understand it <laughs> um, yeah that, that, that's not a true story but yeah um, but I'm happy because we, we gotta get banned yeah um, I mean for, I'm keen to keep going on this episode because I feel like we haven't spoken about a lot no no we've talked shit about this beer for 20 minutes I feel yeah like. oh, fuck this beer bro it's still so shit bro I've been pissed twice because of it alright well fuck it I'm bringing it up uh, you know how in America, I, I think it might just be America. Like, you know how they have like deer hunting season? They have yeah. rabbit hunting season. I don't know what they yeah, have. Yeah, it comes duck, that shoots a lot. I think it's like that duck, in Russia. Duck hunting season. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking of one for Australia. Cyclist hunting season. Bro, I would go for... Then you shoot your cars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here just, we, oh. Oh. Hey, put, put the, put oh, the mic go up. Go. Oh, oh, yeah. Go to the mic. Oh, shit. You got to over here. Here we go, live uh, read on the podcast. Oh, here we go, first guest first, on the podcast. You can see him on the podcast. You're on, you're on camera. Oh, he's not, he's not coming on camera. So my boss, Kim, said, I was going to like the shit out of the, this on on um, TikTok, but I'm sorry, I have a sum- Samsung. <laughs> Bro, fuck Samsung. Bro, we don't care. Fuck Samsung. Thanks, Kim, though. That's mad. That That's is funny actually as fuck. sick. Clint's boss. Bro, Clint, you're giving your boss a t- I'll take the- It's funny as that's fuck. That's so good. Yeah. Oh, that's so Bro, funny. I love that shit. Yeah. Uh, fuck Samsung. Um, Yo, we, were, we, were, we, we made a line in the sand. We fuck did, Samsung. We did finally get approved on Google Podcast. Did we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you guys can watch, uh, it was you actually, watch it on Google now. It was actually like the week after we recorded that episode. Oh, chill. That's good then. That's good. Yeah, but fuck Samsung. Still fuck Samsung. We've, we've made our line. We've got to keep yeah. it. Yeah. We have integrity. Yeah, exactly. Like, if I were to ever not buy an iPhone, it's you not going to be It's not gonna be a Samsung. Be a brick. Be I'd, a, I'd a probably burner. just... I'd, I'd probably go off grid and just never have a phone. That's pretty cool, bro. That's what my dad tried doing for a while. It, you was, know, re- it was really good for him, but we used to lose my shopping centers all the time. Well, you know... <laughs> <laughs> the Jed Bryce really, fuck it, he yeah. had the keys as well he just fucking go off and do random shit yeah. like he, side quests he just went in the car for like 20 minutes no no we'd go to like go get shopping 
dad would fucking do a side quest yeah. and like we'd go back to the car thinking he'd be there he's not there he comes back we just start looking around for him he'll come back to the car then we go back like an hour and a half journey for nothing oh fucking hell oh Ooh, sorry for the big yawn fuckers um late night eh it's nearly 7pm <laughs> um well, it's a bit hard when you're up at fucking 3.30 ooh I'm Jackson I fucking fin fights at the gym Oh, oh yes okay so segue to that not Fuck a bad it. one eh so we I'm okay we did sort of briefly go over the cyclist hunting season I just want to get back to that cyclist hunting season I think fuck it I reckon the season of fucking spring fuck it let's alright any cyclist on the road run them down <laughs> dude you can do it it's this okay. is gonna get brought up in a fucking lawsuit and they're this gonna is like, like the hate t- speech shit we're talking about don't actually do it but this is just something I'm thinking about it'd be funny if it happened yeah don't it w- do it but it'd be funny if you did it yeah, and if you do it, like, record it and tag us. Yeah, it'd be funny. <laughs> oh, God. <Yeah. laughs> we, get, we get one mentally unhinged cunt to do this, and we're going to be fucking going to jail. Yeah, and then we'd just be like, oh, but we're all on the spectrum. It's okay. Yeah, but we're retarded, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we won't go to prison. We'll go to the, like, mental institute. True. <laughs> we just lost the follow <laughs> That was quick. Um, <laughs> that was quick. Um, well, I don't think you must can... be alluded by, well, no. by our by our um well, by you, our you're media autistic. team. Yeah, I am. We must be alluded by our media team that um <laughs> we may be losing a follow. Um, yeah. So okay, let's just so next, the, next topic. This morning, how do we how do we label the cyclist? So if they have one of those baby trundler things, they have a little kid in the back. Is that double points or is that like a fucking like bonus score? Oh no, they're not a cycler. So you lose points to killing a child. Cycler or the fuckwits in lycra. Oh, okay, not just guys on bikes. No, no, See, no, no, no. People on bikes. So okay, so today, right? I was driving here, and some fuckwit is just driving on the road, like riding on the road. Yeah. And like a busy ferry road, and he's in front of me, and I c- I can't go around him. I have to stay in my lane behind him. Yeah. And all I'm thinking is like the the side path is fucking free, dude. <laughs> yeah, just go on the fucking. And this dude path, just bro. like he's just got like a normal push bike. He's not even like a full dressed up. Looks for like it. a fuckwit, and I'm like, if if it was cyclist hunting season, I can't hit you. I can't hit you because you're not a cyclist. Technically, I don't think you're a cyclist. You're just a wanker. Yeah, it's like it's like you shoot a deer in duck season. Doesn't count, bro. Or should we just say anyone that rides a bike on the road? That's who. You yeah, it can... becomes like purge for like three months of a year. You can just kill anyone on a bike. Yeah, and I think that's fair, dude. What about fucking like what about postman motorbikes? They count. Nah, nah, they're all right. Police because they're on not motorbikes? cyclists. Um. No, but you can king hit them. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to wind the window down at the lights and yeah. just give him a fucking cheeky little bah. Yeah. Bah, bah. The back of his fucking helmet. A little bah, bah. Or just spin the cunt's helmet. Yeah. And then be like, where am I? Just, if you're on the other side, if you're in the passenger seat, you just go out there and just fucking put your hands on the as hard as you can. <laughs> just, just rev the cunt. Or you punch him so hard that he thinks there's eight of you. <laughs> and like, I'm looking for an old man. <laughs> <laughs> He's but like, I didn't, I didn't see him. How did he get away? That old fucker's quick. Yeah. But yeah, so okay, let's just fucking circle back to what you brought up before. So the gym this morning. So this dude's doing deadlifts and he's also doing, I don't know, a weighted machine, and you know he's got weights on the bar doing yeah, deadlift and weights you, on yeah. the fucking machine. Anyway, I just I see him pack his shit up and walk. So he's out. fucking off. Yeah, yep. and he's like middle aged, and I go, "Hey, mate, your weights." Like I just, uh, you know, I point to his weights and I go, "Oh, your weights, mate." And he goes, "What about them?" And I go, "Put them back. Like, don't be one of those guys." Yeah. And he goes, "He goes, yeah, this is why you're fat and I'm not." And why? I was, because he's lazy. And I, was, it- I took my AirPod out and I walked up to him and I was like, "What did you say, champ?" <laughs> And I got face to face with him and he goes, fuck off, don't be a hero. And I go, yeah, whatever, champ, you do you, you do you, whatever. Like, I, I, I was like, it's not worth getting into a fight. Yeah, at like oh, fucking right. four in the morning. At four in the morning. But 
Dude, what a wanker! Actually, what a wanker! Like, it's not hard. Like, you came into the, you came in there, and the weights were racked. Yeah. Why, why can't you just rack them back? Yeah. It's not like you're doing any extra work. It's not like you came in there and they're already fucked. Yeah. Like they were good because you came in at three in the morning. Yep. So that means the chick, like, it's been done. Yeah. Like, it's not they're not left like shit. No. So I don't get that. Like, I understand like the same as like you go to a tour or something, there's piss everywhere. You're not gonna clean it up. You're just gonna yeah, piss on it too. But not four in the morning. Yeah, we're not at four in the morning. That's like the thing, the, it's unstaffed. So yeah. the only people, your only people you're fucking with is everyone else around you. Yeah. Like, yeah, the staff don't start till like six. Yeah, or you're seven. Yeah, you're being a dick at that like, point. Oh, uh, I was well. They got cameras. Just that scene know. from Punisher, like being with a weight. <laughs> but that all I was thinking was like, fuck, I could, I could punch you, and you just come to snap with me, and do. But like, it just annoyed me because I was like, what does this? What does it have to do with my weight, dude? Like, I'm talking about the but weight. But doesn't even make sense the way he said it, though. He's like, that's what you're fat and I'm not. But he's being lazy. How is that How is that a helpful <laughs> yeah, thing? Yeah. It's like the exact opposite. It's yeah. like, what? Yeah. You're but, like, shit, I'll lose weight if I stop back racking my rates. That's what we're doing wrong. I'm being a decent cunt. That's why I'm fat. What the fuck, bro? And I, I spoke about this last week, like, weird thoughts. Like, dude, all I kept thinking of was for the rest of, like, my workout was like, dude, man, he's just doing bench press upstairs or something. And, like, I just come up behind him while he's got the weights. Like, so he can't really use his hands. And I just grab a weight and just start smacking his head in, bro. Bro, you just... No, you just, like, go up to him and just push the bar on his throat. And yeah. Just hold it down. <laughs> just, like, no, I stand on the bar. <laughs> just, yeah, just jump your knees on it and just, like, fall and just, like... Oh, um, George Floyd. Or just wait till he's in the gym again and just go, like, pop his tires. Kill him. Just go stab two of his tires and drive off. Dude, he might be cyclist. Dude, he rides his bike to go, oh, cool, now I've got a... Oh, yeah, end. I can do this. I'm going to have to wait till June, but yeah. <laughs> or whenever it is. You're looking at him and, like, Googling when, when does spring Oh, start. Gary's excited over that. <laughs> um, Off camera, Clint pulled out a zucchini. Zucchini? Cucumber. Cucumber. Um, yeah, and Gazza got fucking excited. He's also grading it, so it's kind of like how Gazza does all his fucking toothy blowjobs. <laughs> Yeah, that's... Yeah, Gaza. Oi. Apparently, that's kind of like pulling a condom's life, but I wouldn't know. Never used one. Yeah, I've, I used one once. How was it? I, yeah, I did use one once and it broke, so I was like... Your dad oh, thought you were doing it wrong? I'm not, well, yeah. Oh, okay. I got a story about cucumbers. They're actually really good for your memory. Yeah, my uncle stuck one up my ass <laughs> once, <laughs> And I've never forgotten about it. <laughs> Dude, I'd try to repress that one. <laughs> That's fucking great. Yeah, I've never forgotten about it. So they're really good for your memory. Oh, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> that's, that's fucking great. That's a good one. That's good. That's a, that's a tip um, off right there. <laughs> dude, that's... um. But yeah, that fuckwit at the gym, dude. Have you ever... Have you encountered anything like that recently? Um. Oh, I only get you with a cyclist. Like, um, <laughs> no, so this is literally a real story. Like, a few weeks ago, um, I was on the way to work, and, like, he was doing the whole, like, I'm turning right thing. Where they put their hand out, oh and I'm like, God. okay, bro, I'm also driving a lot faster than you, so you're going to have to wait. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to wait for you on the, like, roundabout going 10k an hour. I'm sorry, move faster. Honestly, fucking ride faster. Be better. Yeah. And I got past him, he's just the whole, oh, the whole, like, taps the head, nods his head. I'm like, okay. He's giving me the head nod. He's watched the podcast. He's watched episode one, apparently. And then, like, probably like 10 minutes later, bro, I'm at the he's lights. Gonna... Legit, bro, I'm at the lights for work. And he's, like, beside me. He's like, looking at me, knocks my window. He's like, mate, you don't even wait a minute. It's not on. I'm like, fuck's sake, cunt. I, like, wound it down, but, okay, this guy's going to fight me. You're like, fuck off, mate. And he's like, telling me, he's like, mate, you know it's not on, eh? you got to give way to, like, cyclists and that. You know, we, you don't own the road. And I'm like, yeah, okay. 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 And then, as soon as we take off again, he's trying to do it again. I'm like, nah, bro, just straight again. Straight away again. Like, Never again. Like, no well, way, bro. I was like, took off hard, as hard as I could just so I could cut him off. Yeah. But you should have actually like ran him off the road. <laughs> just that Bridget Coomera. Just yeah. like push it. Just keep pushing. Yeah. So he's like, oh, right. yeah. it's, it's literally like only one thing can go on there. Yeah. I'll tell you what you should do next time someone does that. You get out of your car because those bikes are really light. Push him off it, bro, and just fucking yeet it. <laughs> off the bridge. <laughs> those things are like really light. And then just drive off. Yeah. I'm What's he going to do? Run after me? Pretty sure they're like made out of like carbon fibre. Yeah, true. So like really light. Oh yeah. Just just door them. 
Ooh. while you're driving too, so they can't fucking... push him off. Put his bike in my car and drive off. Just steal his bike. <laughs> <laughs> or, or turn your window wiper thing to wash your windows. Turn them outwards, so when you pass one, you just fucking spit the fuck out of them. <laughs> or just do it happen to um Clint and get a can thrown at you while you're on your bike from the fucking bowler. Oh fucking hell, that. Yeah, that. It was niches, gonna... the yeah, dirty prick. I <laughs> um, fucking got anything you want to talk about for mine? Yeah, Fight Club. Fight Club. I mean, we we're on the topic of fighting. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that what you're trying to get at? Like before? Was that yeah. what you're segueing to? Okay. So this comes back for the days I was working at Celtics. Yeah. So I used to work. If you guys didn't know, I used to work at Celtics for a few years, and it was right beside a high school, so a private school, right? And so uh, I used to work the morning Aquinas. shift, like yeah, Aquinas. Yeah, so I used to work there, like start four a.m. every morning, and work until like nine thirty, or eight eight nine thirty. You know, just up to school rush. Yeah. So, at towards the end of when I was working there, I got a lot of kids coming to this, like coming into the shop and like talk about like fighting and stuff and getting a punch on. I was like, oh, bro, just do it at the back. I was like, fuck it, you guys don't fight. Just there's a, yeah. there's like a fucking like the shop behind us is empty. It's an old tire shop. You can just punch on it back there as a joke. <laughs> as a joke, right? <laughs> Next minute, the boys come in and like, oh, yeah, fuck you. We had a punch on the back. I was like, yeah, okay. That's cool. Like, no one really cares. Like, I was like, okay, I guess so. And then a couple of weeks pass. No one really thinks much of it. And all of a sudden, like, all these kids are coming in. Like, way more kids. I'm like, it must be like a school fate or like a swimming carnival. Because we're all buying lollies and buying weird shit. And there's kids in non-uniform. And, like, there's people that aren't kids. Like, older people coming in and buying shit. And just at the server waiting. And they're all, and I was like, oh, what's the go? What's going on today? Is there like a fucking awards night or something? He's like, oh no, like oh, so and so's fine. This guy at the back. I was like, oh, okay, this is like an actual fucking fight club. So you check a sign on the window saying we'll be back very shortly. Yeah. So I like literally like I was like, fuck, I gotta go and check that. Went the back door, and this cunt's like shirtless, kicking at a cunt like <laughs> on the ground, and they'll be like, and I'll back like. So the way it works, so we had this tire shop. We actually into a tire shop. It was on the main road, but it was like pretty hidden away from the street. Yeah. And it was like an old, like, um, what's it called? Like car wash that no one was using. Yeah. So it was full, like, blacked out. Had like a full, like, thing. It was a full little ring, right? Yeah. And I walk up, there's like kids everywhere. My boss comes in. She was like, oh my God, there's like 50 kids in the back. I'm like, yeah, they're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, like, yeah. Can you stop them? And I was like, no. Yeah, what? Why would why, I? Why would one person be able to stop fifty though? Yeah, it's like this gang fight at the back of the, at the back of Caltex, and the teachers came. It was a big thing. Like apparently, it was like kids expelled. The and teachers shit. came. The teachers came down to the school because someone had told them, and they ran down before school started because it's all happened at like eight a.m. Oh, uh, okay. So that's the thing. They'll do it before school. But yeah, so I orchestrated a fight without knowing it, and these like random kids that known from the school punching on the Dude, other kids. Dude, and you could have charged people. Dude, like, do I just jump in? Like, oh, shit, Connor from Caltech's in here. <laughs> Brings in the ref, and I'm, like, here, just, like, jumping in. No, I was there just serving refreshments, bro. I was literally just, like, yeah. the, the like the concierge. Oh, you were, like, the when uh, it was the in-between rounds, you were filling them up with Gatorade. Yeah, legit, bro. Them. I'm, like, there giving them fucking VBs and, like, just give No, VBs, sorry. Red Bulls and just selling them cigarettes under the counter. <laughs> I'm, like, giving them, selling them drugs for double the price. Fight Club is also a good movie. Really good movie. Yeah. Uh. Should we spoil it for the people at home? Yeah. Yes, we should. So, the best line of the movie is after, like, the main character fucks this chick. Also, I never said the main character is a narrator. She goes, I haven't been fucked like that since grade school. Right? But in the book, the wine's way better. The wine? The line. Sorry. Fuck, man. I've had three better beers. What the fuck's going on with me? So... In the line, in the books, fucking hell, holy <laughs> shit, this has got bad. Um, <laughs> you're like, this is Terry, I'm closing it. Um, in the book, instead, or oh, you want one of those? No, I'm because I, I got to drive, so oh, I got to drive too. Yeah, no, but I, I don't want to drink anymore, okay? That's Only because I'm getting really sleepy and I fucking all right, we'll just I'll have, have one, one of, of these, them. yeah, I'll have one of them. Um, so sorry, and the, the line from the book, we'll just cut that little bit out. Um, instead she says, I want to have your abortion. And that is like hot. If I heard that from a girl, I'd be like, Kane, let's do it. <laughs> like, why not? That's like the most visceral thing. It's like having a baby, but not like the one step just yeah, before. Yeah, but like if you're not wearing a condom, you're already risking that. But if she says, I want to have it, there's no loss for you. It's like 500 bucks at most. It's not that expensive. Well, no, if she's the one pushing it forward, she should be paying. Wouldn't you half and half? No, she's Actually, never mind. I don't. I've never asked you to pay half. So, of the look at the thickness of that bread, by the Fucking way. Fucking hell! 
What are we? What are we having for dinner? Look at that, bro. Steak? That's still gonna be one of the sexiest loaf of bread I've ever seen. That's better than Better Bear. This head is two dollars fucking forty five. Fucking hell. White lifestyle. No cafe style. <laughs> um oh well I think we should give it another hot take then. Yeah, well yeah, okay. Well I did have a bit of a segue. Oh sorry, well yeah. Well with Fight Club being a good movie and talking about movies. I um, I had this thought yesterday, and I was wondering if they made a movie about your life, who would you have playing us? Oh, like now? Yeah. Um, oh, fuck, I would be a hard one. I'm trying to think. Um, Casey Frey would play me, but he's not really an actor. Oh, okay. He's not known. Oh, I'm thinking of no. A-list. Oh, well, who would you who'd you to play you then? Um, um, did you know who would be good playing you? Um, who? Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. Sasha Cohen Baron. Baron Cohen, yeah, like yeah. L.E.J. or the dictator and stuff. Yeah, yeah, he should play you, and okay, I'll take. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um. It's a hard one. Doing I never come prepared it? for my own. Yeah, never do I. It's like you just kind of hope what they'd say. Um, yeah, that or I'll say Matthew Lillard, the guy who plays Shaggy. I'd take. That'd be fun. Like Scoob. Yeah, that'd be fun as well. I'd love him play me. Um, for you, I don't know. Like, you're pretty funny, Jonah Hill, but he's not funny anymore. He's just oh, angry. Oh, dude, one young thing Jonah Hill. I can see. Yeah, young Jonah. Hill. Yeah. Young Jonah Hill. Okay, so this is another little fucking segue thing. So, one thing I heard and saw the other day was people that are fat and funny, like, they have to be funny because they don't have anything else going for them. Yeah, yeah. And now that Jonah Hill is skinny, he's not funny. No, there's a... um. He makes that joke himself in the movie Funny People. Which is it's not meta. funny, which is a really bad movie. Yeah, it's depressing. It's very depressing. It's like the Duff. Yeah, The Duff. Nice That's a um, good movie, though. Yeah, it is. I like that. I love Thorn's hot as fuck. She is in that. She'd get it. Yeah. Again and again. To you, Bella. Um, But yeah, like, so the, they even said in that movie, it's like physically attractive people, physically fit people aren't that funny because you need to have that, that level of, like, detraction to make you funny. Yeah. Like, Daniel Tosh and, like, Anthony Gisnett can do it because they're so, like, out there and so, like egotistical that is funny like oh my god this person's not real he's such a piece of shit that he yeah. can't be real yeah. but if you're just like an attractive dude making comedy no one's gonna be into it no like yeah yeah but, Jonah Hill he's not funny anymore he's no not. he's just he just cares too much about everything yeah like Rebel Wilson as well she used to be funny as fuck and yeah. now she's nowhere you, yeah legit but she lost heaps of weight and she's now she's just skinny now. and doing nothing yeah whereas like yeah, I, I don't Drax know. got fat. Dave Batista, and he's way funnier now. Dude. <laughs> Drax got fat as fuck in the Dude, Christmas Batista's special. Dude, Batista's a fucking underrated, like, actor. So, Same I, as John Cena. Bro, I feel those two, coming from WWE, and being... They got given these green light projects. James Gunn did both of them. Yes. And James Gunn just knows how to work with them, because they're, so they're James, fucking hilarious. Well, then James, Peacemaker is stupidly funny. If you guys haven't seen it, watch Peacemaker. It's hilarious. Dude, James... That makes James... James Gunn brought the best out in there. You know James Gunn's also running DC now? Yeah. That's, like, perfect. <laughs> He's at, um... And also working for Marvel at the same time. But John Cena... Yeah, well, um... For the final scene in... What movie was it? What was, oh, the of Peacemaker? Yeah. James Gunn asked if he could use the studio they were filming next to Guardians. Oh, wow. Cool. And Marvel said yes. That's sick. They were like, yeah, you can use it. And hit them, like for a DC film, which is pretty fucking cool. Yeah, it's cool. I guess they're making money on it anyway. I guess it's pretty cool to think that Marvel were just like, yeah, like there's no actual beef. Like, I yeah. guess because a lot of people... You always think there would be beef because like, the two big yeah, games. Yeah. But Marvel are probably so like alpha. They're like, yeah, it's not going to make as much money as anything we do. But yeah, yeah okay. you're fine. Yeah. Like, you don't even have to pay us. <laughs> like, we'll just let you use our petty. 
Yeah, we'll just use it because like it, it's funny. <laughs> it's embarrassing. But yeah, Peace make a great fucking show. Oh, I haven't seen it because I'm I'm just not. I don't know. I'm just it, just just give me like give me a chance and just watch one episode. And if you don't find it funny, fair enough. But you'll fucking love it. It's hilarious. Oh, I know I'll love it. I know I would. I just, dude. Owen huh? Owen Wilson, Owen Wilson would play you. Owen Wilson. I I see that maybe. Um, what about Liam Hensworth? You? Yeah. And Chris play me. Yeah. No, you get you get Luke. You get Luke Hensworth. <laughs> Luke, the Emia. older brother. Luke Emia. <laughs> yeah. I look like I have leukemia. Can't. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What were we talking about before? Celebrities, bro. We're like going off. No, before. Oh, um. John Cena and Batista. Funny Dude, as Dude, so fucking underrated, like, with their comedy. They're so funny. Yeah. John Cena, dude, like, there's a... I can't remember what the movie's called, but it's really fucking funny. It's about their kids going to, like, um... Uh, yeah. The, the, the prom and shit. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a really funny movie. I wish I could come up with the title. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, yeah. But it's really funny, and, like, he just says these... Like, he's a dumbass in it. And, like... They walk into a hotel, a massive hotel, and he goes, there's got to be at least 30 rooms here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's like, like the dude, lo- the other dude looks at him and he's like, like, really? Like, yeah, <laughs> like probably, yeah. But there's like 300 rooms yeah. in here, not fucking 30. Yeah. But yeah, he's, uh, yeah. He's, not seeing one playing or, a drug dealer one time. Or the WWVDD, uh, what would Vin Diesel do? <laughs> And he's like, he, like he's in a car, and he's like, he's like, WWVDD, and like the dude's like, what the fuck does that mean? And he's like, what would Vin Diesel do? And he like checks the car and like reverse and, and like rolls. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking good. Um, um, that's sick, bro. That's I want to watch the video, a movie. I forgot what it's called. If I find it, I'll chuck it up. You know. Yeah, sweet. Chuck it up for um. That's that's a movie of the week. But yeah. Fuck it, let's just go into a hot take and we're probably going to wrap up very shortly. Yeah, finish on a hot take. Ooh. Drake is not a rapper. Oh, facts. See, I thought that up until the other day when I, when I listened to... um. Oh, that song from Kendrick. I actually, I actually have to find my phone to get this up. No, um... Give me a sec. No, fuck Drake. I, I'm not a fan of Drake. I'm not I, a fan of Drake. I hate Drake. I like Drake. Drake some, like two of Drake's songs that don't, he hasn't rapping. But he has a verse. Um... <laughs> Shitty a beer. <laughs> That's going to be beeped. <laughs> That's got to be beeped. Gary's um, been quite quiet this week. Is he okay? I think we haven't fed him. He's a bit drunk from that one beer we gave him. Yeah, well, when you have a diet full of fucking... Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, you okay? A diet full of what? Come and piss and shit? Come and piss and shit, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. And also, this is all three. Um, <laughs> that's all it is. That's <laughs> that's their secret ingredients. <laughs> oh, fuck they, they also They also said, this is 87 calories. That's all the protein from the cum. <laughs> that's all it is. Um, so the song Poetic Justice on um, Good Kid Mad City. Drake has a really good verse okay, in that. Okay, but... That's not Drake's song. No, but he raps in it. It's a good verse. Okay, he can... I'm not saying Drake can't rap, but he's not a rapper. Yeah, okay, I agree. Yeah. He, like, because a lot of people, I'm talking specifically here about Christian and, like, Max and stuff. Yeah. They always used to give me shit. And I all have, have, I've never liked, I've liked Drake. always said Drake is not a rapper. And they're like, fuck off, bro. Like, Drake's probably the best rapper in, around now. And I'm like, nah. Bro. I'm like, nah, like, proper rap is like J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. M&M yeah, I agree. Yeah. and shit like all these other people they're not real like rappers like Juice Wood and shit like that and Tassi and whatever it is like they're, they're, they're not, not rappers rap- they're it's not rappers. hip hop but it's not rap they're not rappers at all um but yeah so I don't think Drake's a rapper like at all um, no I agree with that yeah he's got one good verse but yeah again it's not his yeah. song so Drake can rap but he's his genre of music is not rap is Machine Gun Kelly a rapper now Machine Gun Kelly is a rapper. Or is he a former rapper? A former rapper, yeah. MGK is a former rapper. Cool. Just like, I guess Drake will be a former rapper as well because his first shit, his early shit is rap. Yeah. And now he's transcended to like pop. And and 
Drake's earlier shit was so much better. Yeah. So, all right, well, fuck Drake, fuck Kanye. They both fucked Kim. Yo. No. Who hasn't fucked Kim, I don't think Drake has, but I think he wants to. Who wouldn't? I'd fuck him. I'd fuck him. Kim, my dad's boss, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, shout out to fucking Pete Davidson, dude. I don't know how you keep doing it. 10 inch long, bro. M Rada. On the flop. M Rada. Bro, she's so. I watched Gone Girl for the first time the other week, maybe like a few months ago now. Um, And like, it made me scared of woman. Have you seen it? No. Oh, cool. It's like Ben Affleck and his wife kills herself, but she doesn't really kill herself. Spoilers. And like, she frames his mur- her murder oh, on him. Oh, Gone Girl. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Gonga. I was like, Gonga. What the Dude, hell's... am I like that slurring that much? Yeah. Sorry to the fucking audience. <laughs> Gone Girl. Oh, gone girl, yes. And, like, M. Rudd is in that, and she gets her tits out, and, like, I was watching it with my Oof. girlfriend at the time, and, like, I, when it went on, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, like, I could not, not say anything about it because how good they looked. They're real? And she was like, they're real. Yeah? yeah and right. she was looking at me going, like, looking at me like, hmm. Actually, I believe me and you had this debate in school, and and I was like, oh, M- Emily Radikowski's tits are real, and I think at the time you were like, no, they're not. And we I've, looked, and well, and you were like, "Oh shit, no, they're real." Yeah, no, I've grown from that. Yeah, I remember at school because yeah. blurred lines. I was like, "No way, they yes. sit, they sit too well." Yeah, oh. and then later on, no, they are they real. They sit like a perfect like. This. They're a perfect teardrop. Yeah, like, and she's like, she is definitely her tits on a stick. Yeah, like she's like a tiny waist. Yeah, like nice, nice small ass, but very nice and amazingly no. big tits. I think she has a good ass. Yeah, it's small, but good. Like, it's not like, you, it's not like you're not there with a the fucking ghetto booty, you know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I look like my girlfriend. Very, very hot. Don't search her up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say anything. You, like, yeah. I um, just want to bring it back so I'm not talking about M Rat too much. Maybe let's just cut that bit out. <laughs> nah, fuck. We're leaving that in. I have a fucking fiance. No, I don't. Hey, you're engaged now, eh, no, bro? No. Is that tomorrow night? Bro, she always... Is that she, tomorrow night? She always um asks... Is like, that tomorrow night? <laughs> no. Oh, that's why I thought you were buying some dinner. What the fuck did I say? Yes, then, can <laughs> She always asks me. She's like, when are you going to propose? I'm like... When are you going to propose? Floor well, that's what I say to her. Well, you know what I say to her? I was like, well, I think it's bullshit. i got to spend... Buy a fucking I ring. i got to buy an engagement ring. And then i got to buy a wedding ring. I was like... My wedding ring better cost as much as it's, both of your fucking rings. That's fair. That's fair. Or, mm, this part's going to have to get cut out. I said, ring for a ring. Uh, anal. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and she said, no. <laughs> and you're like, well, cool. Guess who's not getting married. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Guess whose kids are getting my last Did we leave that in? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, fuck it. She doesn't want. No. <laughs> she might. Oh, what would she care? See how you feel when you edit sober. Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, well, should we should wrap this one up anyway. Yeah, we've been going for quite a while. I, I don't It'll be mind, about an hour and a half, I don't I mind doing the longer podcast. Um, well, when we were only doing one, I felt we can talk a bit longer. Dude, I'm not going to lie. The vibe of this podcast, for me, personally, hasn't been that good. For one... It's the beer. Because of the drink. Yeah, it's been fucked, man. And I th- it was actually similar to when we were at Cooper's. Um... I think it might have also been because that drink was, like, not strong. So, I wasn't really intoxicated. Yeah, it's just been a weird vibe. Whereas this one... Like, I'm not saying it's been a bad podcast, but the beer is very fucking shit. Dude. Yeah, it puts you more of a downbeat, you know? Yeah. Um, Another call out. Actually, did I even call out someone earlier? No, you just got me to call out my sister. That was it. Oh, that's right. Okay, well, let's do another... Do a quick little rapid fire call out here. Shout out to Jesse. Send us a message. Shout out to Casey for sharing the fucking um potty. Yep. And shout out to Jared again, bro. Just hit us up. Jared, if you're still watching these, I love you, bro. And uh, just ask me about the shirt, and I'll get you one. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah, but the, by the point this comes out, we should be very close to sorting it. Yeah. If not, already sorted it. Um, another thing also is. If you got this far in the podcast... Holy con- shit. You congratu- must have nothing better to do. Congratulations. Um, this week's beeping word is... <laughs> shittier beer. 
shittier beer. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Shittier beer. <laughs> Why did you put on an accent? <laughs> I don't know. I can't say beer without saying right. Does that sound right? Beer? Oh, okay. Yeah, no. That's, uh, that's right. All right. Well, um, thank you for watching yet again another episode of the number one shittiest podcast in Australia. Party on the rocks. Party on the rocks. <laughs> and we're drinking the number one shittiest beer, beer in Australia. In the world. In the world. Oh, if there's a beer shitter than this, let us know. Please, we'll try it out. And it can't be Hollandia, because that's cheap. <laughs> and that's shit. It is shit, but it's cheap. <laughs> it's probably better than this. I mean, it I probably is, honestly. Yeah. Anyway, we love you so much. Especially that dude in America, dude. Is he still watching them? I don't know. We should probably check that out. If you're not, you're a fucking dog. Um, but if you are, love you, bro. Yeah. and My head's cold. <laughs> it's like it, it actually feels cold that's it that's it that's the podcast <laughs> alright catch you guys love ya <laughs>